Hello, hello. I hear you. Are you Adam from Sri Lanka? No, I'm sorry. So, so do you do you believe that Adam really landed in Sri Lanka? Yes, of course. What is the proof? Is true. What is the proof of that? I trust I trust what my scholar says. You trust what your scholar says? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What about this foot? Why his foot is so big? But you know the thing is like is it because Allah he made him like that. He made him like that. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, did Adam shrink? No. But look, look. I'm gonna tell you. Like this whole thing is useless. Like the the thing is just that Allah he cannot become a man. Everyone knows this. Ah, oh, Allah cannot be a man. That means Allah cannot be God. Because if Allah cannot do something, that means He cannot be God. I thought Allah can do anything. You just said He cannot be a man. Yeah, but how how can how you can worship a man? I don't understand. Well, you worship Muhammad too, and you worship Allah and Allah. Do, do you know even Allah how He look like? Uh, no. Okay, Allah is a foot. So you worship, you don't worship a man, you worship a foot. Isn't it your prophet, he says that Allah is a foot? Oh, where he says that, show me the reference. Okay, here we go. I will, I, will, I, will play, I will play for you a video. You can see my screen in YouTube. Uh, yes, but I right. now have the man. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will is advise it, you. How much delay is it? How much delay is it? Uh, don't worry about Speaking. delay. It's going to come to you. I will hang up on you for a second. You know, I will call you back. I want you to watch the video. I will play for you. All right. And uh, uh, the Sheikh, he will explain uh, uh, how Allah looked like. What do you think? Right, and you okay. said, and you I said, and you said how Allah, you know, you believe what the what the scholars they say, correct? You, I heard you. You said okay. that, right? Uh, of course. Okay. Zakan so like, it would destroy you. All right. Okay. So I will. I will now, now I'm telling you, you are a coward. If you are a real man, you would go to to Zakir Naik. He will debunk you in one second. I, I will go to Zakir Naik. Do you know that his address? Ah, uh, you know what I mean. I mean, uh, do do you have have you contacted him ever? Because he Zakir Naik. I call him every day. Don't you hear me? Okay, hold on. He's he's who's was? Uh, hello? Who? Christian Prince. First of all. I don't want to debate you. And you are a coward, you are running away from me. What are you talking about, man? I want to debate you. Let's debate. First of all, if you debate me, you have to bring 2,000 people with you. 2,000. I have 100,000 in my in my channel. And the other, uh, the other, I have 110. What are you talking about? So listen, why you don't give me the Skype of Zachary Naik and I will call him right now. Or you can call him. He can join us. What do you think? I don't have Zakir Naik, but... So I, if, I, if you as a Muslim, you don't have Zakir Naik, how in the world I'm going to have Zakir Naik? But you contact him on on YouTube or anything. Yeah, I, con audience, I right? contact him once in uh, in, uh, You're a liar. in in face in face in Facebook. Show me proof. Show uh, me even proof. I posted a video a long time ago. This is before you were we were born. How old are you? Uh, how old I am? How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Is that before tax or after tax? What do you mean? I don't know. I mean, Aisha, before tax, she is six. After tax, she is one. <laughs> Most of them, they say she is 18. So I don't know. Listen, listen. I'm going to play no, for you. The, the, like, with, you, you always say, let's talk about Aisha. But listen, listen, know, listen. Okay, back, hold back on. Days, I will play. Days, it was normal. I will play like, for you. Okay, everybody okay. Everybody we will go back. We will go back. Let me let me play the video for you. Go ahead and watch in YouTube. And I will call you back in just two minutes, Okay. But just watch there. But, but I have to I have to ask you though, how how No you no problem, no just wait, just wait. Just... Not just to see if Allah is a man or not. Listen carefully, here we go. Uh the second question of Rami. Let us go to the the, the answer. Okay. How Allah is Allah is a man or what he is, you know? Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Stop here. I have weakness to legs. Allah is going to show us his leg. Let us call this Muhammad back. 
How are you, Muhammad? Did you hear the shake? One second. I'm, I'm watching the video right now. It's delayed. Oh, okay. There's a delay. Okay. I will give you some time. Okay. Do you want to play it again for you so you can hear it again? No, wait. Hold on. So I, Allah, I Allah, he have a hand. Himself. He, Allah he, says in Surah Al-Qalam that on again? the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his Hello? leg. Hmm. Sorry, I was so distracted between the talk. I okay, go, I so Allah, he have a hand, Allah have a shin, Allah have a leg, Allah have a foot, Allah have a face, Allah have two hands. So if Allah is not a man, what he is? But he's God, but like it's not so the same who is, hand who is God? Not the same hand so his, his, his shin is God? Oh no, it's not the same. It's not the same hand. And, and I, I know, I know. I mean, the shin of the dog is not the same as my shin too. But this is not the question. I'm saying your God is a shin. If this is what Allah says, then, uh, then you know. Then, but a second uh, ago, you said to me, God cannot be a human. So God can be a shin, but he cannot be a human. Look, I. Like I am not so educated about Islam. I just no, no. Muslim. You are educated about shin. Let's focus in shin. I'm sure, like all men, they like women legs. Let us be honest, right? So here, Allah is a female, and he have a nice shin, and he is going to do shin for us. Like he will lift his skirt. He like look at my shin, and all Muslims like wow. Which what the heck is that? It's so beautiful. So, Mr. Tamir, do you think the shin of Allah is so sexy? But why do you do you do blasphemy? What a blasphemy! I like the shin of Allah. What's your problem? But like the thing is, like, okay, he has all this thing, but it does. It does. What not the things? Did human. you did you just say Allah have all things? What things? Allah have shin. This is a thing. Yes, he says the the sheikh. He says. Do you know you know Joe Biden? He says that that we we are created by 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 by, by the by the thing. So now you are saying to me that Allah have the thing, the, the, the thing, and that the, the thing of Allah is the shin. So Allah, at the end of the day, it turned to be his nobody, he's just a shin. And you Muslim worshiping shin, and you know, you shin worshippers. But, but what is the problem? Like, at, me, at least we're not worshiping a man. What's wrong with the man? This man, his Jesus, is perfect. He never commits sin. He controlled nature. He made the blind see. He forgive. He forgives. Okay. And he controlled. Uh, 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 he, he, you know, he, he is he, all the but kingdom. Muhammad, what Muhammad? But, Muhammad. He was busy but, masturbating. No, but Muhammad was the was the best leader for for all mankind. Okay, before like, just, before just look, just before look how gentle he. he Okay, he he was oh very gentle, God. yeah. No, but can you just listen, just one second? Look. Okay, like, uh, I know. Sorry, Tamir, I apologize. I want to listen to you, but you know, I am so impressed with the shin of Allah. So, can you describe for me the shin of Allah? Because I feel like I want to convert. Um, I have a weakness. I have to admit in front of everybody here that I cannot resist shin. So, why Allah? He have a shin. But what? But what is the problem with that? Even if I'm has... not saying that I say any problem, I say why he have a shin. I did not mention the problem. You are coming with the problem, brother. Come on, take it easy on me. I want to convert. So why Allah he has a shin? But okay, but that is not the question. Uh, this the is my question. question. Is, this is this is my question. Okay. Why I'm, Allah honestly, he has a shin? I, I, listen, I, I, listen, I, 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 listen. My car. It's an old car. You know, I have an antenna. The antenna is to do what? To do the radio reception. Okay, so now we know what antenna is called for. Uh, the reason called is antenna because it antenna. So, you know, did Allah, he have a shin to receive something, to re to reception something, or to walk, or what? Why he called it foot? Why call it shin? Did he walk with it? But look, this is not the question. Can, can I? Okay, the, I, the, I, the, I, the, I can't this. No, but this is my But this is my this is my question. But please, you know, I, you know, please, you are like, my you brother, know, I'm trying to brother, learn from you. Brother, you are the Muslim. You are the Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not smart like the Muslims. So why Allah have a shin if He is the Almighty yes, and you Muslim yes, don't believe in a human to be yes. God? Look, Jesus have a foot, okay, but Jesus have a foot because He come to us in a form of a man. So that understood, Allah He have a foot. He have a shin, he have two hands, and by the way, do you have you ever heard of somebody is have a birth defect? Uh, what is that? Like you know, it, what, wait, is it, when, yeah, I, when I was it. when I was when, when I'm born, you know, uh, my mom she told me that the doctor he said your son have a problem. She he said she said what? He said uh, he's not. Good. Problem is you're not Muslim. No, he said he is the only Arab who have a big brain. 
and that is really weird so anyway your god stuff for allah yeah stuff for allah so your god when he was born is it true that he is born with two hands and both of them in the right side no allah is outside of the times time and space continuum he, he made the time and so the space. Is, is allah is out of his hands or his inside his hands outside allah is outside his hands yes the, he he is the one to make the the time space continue okay listen listen so allah is a shin but he is out of his shin look i can say like this like um, honestly i am not so educated in this topic my friend you keep saying to me you keep saying to me i'm not educated i'm not educated you are educated you are a muslim allah will educate you my friend what are you talking about allah will support but, but you i just want to if you would just go to the bible i promise listen, you listen you listen listen muslim, listen you will take shahada in 20 minutes okay uh, i i am almost there just wait you know i'm just trying to help you too so you just say to me i asked you is allah is inside his shin you said no why you say such a thing? So this is the shin of Allah. This is the foot of Allah. Okay. And this is Allah foot. I will make it look nice so you don't get upset. Because most time you get offended from anything. Especially when no, I no, say... I, no, I am not like the, the ISIS. Like the ISIS oh, you are not like not ISIS. Too... Oh, that was my favorite no, cartoon. No, they... ISIS is my favorite cartoon. I joined the USA no, Army please. to go and fight them. When I went there, I could not find anybody. Anyway, listen. No, so, look, they, so listen, they, listen, listen, no. listen. So Allah it have a shin, but according to you, Allah is not inside his shin. So where is Allah? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, by my internet went you, ag you agreed with me that Allah is a shin. And you said to me that Allah is not inside his shin. how that is possible so we have the shin is empty but look allah he can do whatever is impossible he can do possible okay but you said to me allah cannot be a man yes yeah, so if he wants to be a man but like the the thing is like i i said it like that but what what i meant is he's not a man right now but if uh, right now to, so is he a shin right now or he is not a shin right now right now he is he's what Shin. He's a shin, and you worship a shin. But this is Allah. It says in the Quran. So you, you Muslim, worship a shin, and you are proud of that. But what is the problem with that? Like, so you reject, is, is you the, reject, the, you, the, you, this, you reject the Messiah because he's a man. You accept Allah because he's a shin. The thing is, it doesn't matter how Allah. How looks come it like does? How only... come it does matter when we say Jesus is God? You say it matter how God can be a man, no, and but, now, but, and no, now, it doesn't matter if Allah is a shin or not. No, okay, Allah, hold on, hold on. Allah, Allah, he can become. Allah can become a man. Can? The thing is, he 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 never die on the cross. Oh, he, he never die on the cross. Allah never die on the cross. How he die? He is, if if this Allah is not exist and he is dead. Oh, I mean, there's nothing. Uh, Allah don't have a spirit, correct? The Muslim believe Allah is not a spirit and he does not have a spirit, so he's dead. Yeah, the, the, he's, okay, a, my, he's a rock. No, I, so this I, I, is I, the I, shin. I my mom this, but he okay, said uh, the... okay, what is your mom? Let me talk to her. Sleeping right now, Habib. You spoke to your mom and she's sleeping. Oh, she, imam, imam. Imam. Oh, sorry. I thought, I, thought, I thought you were saying your mom. Okay. Why well, you don't call him now? He's sleeping, Habib. Wake him up, my friend. Wake him up. Habibi, Tell him I, I just called wake. the guy and Habibi, he is giving me. Don't call me Habibi. I'm not your boyfriend. Come on. Listen, uh, I'm asking you why you don't call the Imam so he can join us and you just uh, watch him. He is a smarter. He's educator. You know, do, educated. Do you, live in the, do you live in the United States? I live in, uh, you know, the thing in USA, yeah. You know, uh, you know, you know, I, I you know. I live in Europe. The, the, ah, you the, live in the shin in Italy. Ah, in the Italy shin. Ah, you live in the I'm house. Like, Allah, Allah live in Italy. Allah, Allah Himself is Italy because Italy is a shin. Allah is a shin. So you worship Italy. So you say to me now that Allah is a shin, but He is not inside His shin. Why Allah is not inside His shin? But look, this is not the question. The question this is, is my question. Is if, okay, okay, you know what? I will make it simple for you. According to your prophet, Allah have two hands 
and both of them they are in the right side of his shin. Is that a birth defect? Where where he says that in the Quran? In the Hadith. You're lying. In the Hadith. You're lying. In the Hadith. You're lying. Okay, what Which if hadith? what if I show it to you? What you would do? Let me take a screenshot because I want to sell this in the museum, in the Islamic Museum of uh, Technology. Here we go. But but why are you are mocking Allah all the time? I'm not right? mocking Allah, did my they, friend. I'm hurt, just showing you. He cannot they hurt me. You know, have you ever heard of a shin can hurt? <laughs> That's funny. You know. I mean, like, imagine you call the police. You say, "Help! Help! The shin hurt me." <laughs> they will say, "Go and see a doctor." <laughs> Unbelievable! You are funny, man. You are funny. I like you. I like. You. Listen. So we go to the hadith, and here we go. Your prophet he says, "Kilta uh, yamin." So Allah, both His hands, both His hands are right hands. And you say to me, "I'm lying." Why you say that? You hurt my feeling now. Is that uh, how you speak to people in your age? Yes. No, like I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I just have to to say it how it is. If I see a okay, but you're saying example, I'm lying. A, for example, you are saying I'm you are horse, saying I am if I lying. If I see a horse, for example, okay, listen. I say it's horse. No problem. I say, okay, I read, read, liar, read. I say liar. Read, read. It says here that your God Allah, both His hands are right hands. You see it? Oh, it's, oh, it's, All those hadith are saying. Allah, both I hands, think. both hands of Allah are right hands. I only see a delay. <coughs> okay, I will zoom for you. You see it? Both of his hands are right hands. So all this drama and Allah is God and then Allah cannot enter his body, and then Lili Dawa, she said that he can enter his body, and he entered his creation. And now we find that Allah have a birth defect. He have two hands in the right side. He's a shin. He have five fingers. He never cut his nails, which means they are very dirty, and he don't wash his hands. So now, this is your God? Why you said to me, why you said to me, I'm lying? Uh, apologize, please, because you said I'm lying, and this is your prophecy. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You are, you are sorry. What I would do with you, sorry now. Let me get some tissue. I'm crying. I mean, you do things to me, you Muslims, you hurt my feeling. You call they, me a they liar. Want PayPal, so you, what? They want PayPal to make it better. What? PayPal to, to make it better. What, what? PayPal. PayPal? And a 20 bucks or something. I say sorry. Yeah, but you you said sorry after what? After you call me liar and I have a thousand, I have I, one thousand, one hundred thousand subscriber listen to me, and now you call me. They will think now I'm a liar, and they will disrespect the shin of Allah. I told them to worship Allah. His shin is so beautiful. You said to me you are a liar. I said Allah have two hands in the right side. You said to me you are a liar, and now you apologize. And but what about the one who was here? He heard you saying to me I'm a liar, and he left. Before you apologize, he will believe now I did lie. And he will not, not accept no more that Allah, through description, he have two hands in the right hand, in the right side. You yeah, see what you did to Allah? Because 99% of, of the viewers are, are Christian, right? They're pagans. Pagans? What pagans mean? And they, they, they don't worship Allah. Oh, pagans is the one who don't worship Allah? Yes. Okay, I want to ask you, you know, once I went to a Muslim website, it's called to convert to Islam. I asked him why the prophet he kissed the black stone. I will ask you the same question. Why the prophet kissed the black stone? To to, for, to get your sins forgiven. This is how Allah made it. <sighs> That's deep. So you call us pagan, but you Muslim you cost the black stone. And the prophet he kissed the black stone to to but, his sin to be forgiven. But this is one of the miracles of Islam. <sighs> That's like deep. The stone is still there. Oh, the stone is there. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. Last time I looked, it wasn't there. Do you want to bet? What do you mean? The stone has always been there. There's like, no black it, stone. Like no. The, the stone, the, the stone, it became so black because uh, like it, it forgives so many sin. Uh, no, because it, it, it sucks. It, it sucks sin. Before. It my, sucks sin. Mother, yes. She told me, my mother, she told me before when I was a little kid. Yeah. She told me the, the stone was pure white before. but Right. Uh, it, so it, it, according to Islam, if you commit sin, you will become darker and black. That's what you are, your mom, she told you. And she got that yes. from your prophet. Yes, huh? So so you are saying to me, if a person is black, is black because he committed sin. No, but like, uh, look, I, I know it may seem like that, but the thing uh -huh. is, you know, 
uh, white is like representing the light. You know? ah. and, and the, and the, the dark, the dark okay. is repre it okay, rep listen. represent the, uh, uh, like even Jesus, even Jesus, he said, you know, I am the light of the world. Oh, okay. What is the opposite to, to what is the, what yeah. is the opposite to, to dark? Yeah, but li uh, light, light. light of the world doesn't mean he is a flesh light or a physical light. That's mean he is the one who will bring people to salvation. However, my friend, you said to me, and I'm not going to hurt your feelings, says you are lying. I will say you're ignorant. This is the black stone. I put it in the screen. There's no black stone left. There's a small, tiny, tiny, tiny. They are not even rocks. I don't know what they call them. You know uh, what they call them in English, guys? Small, tiny uh, stones. So look at them. You're right. Do you mean? No, no, the black stone, the black stone. There's no black stone. This is wax. All the brown is wax. All the brown. Yes, because it, this is the sins. What sin? What sin? There's no... Did, my friend, this is... Absorbed, do, 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 do you know what wax me? Sin. Do you know what wax me? My mother, she even told me... You my know, friend, don't if, tell if, me if my she, mother. My friend, listen, I don't want to... Don't bring your mother here. Listen, I'm asking you. Do you know what wax mean? Wax. Wax is not a stone. Wax is a stone. Not stone, right? Wax, yani it wax the hair. Well, yeah, like wax, like you know, like uh, when you uh, 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 you made you made a statue from wax, right? I don't know what you mean. The, the, the can, like, like when you like light, for the hair. you make yeah, it, no, wax, like you know, the candle, the candle, you know, you make candles for lighting at night. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah. When, so this is this is wax. This when, is when this, it become the wet, right? When when be, when we have electricity, you light a candle. Ah, oh, okay. The candle is made from wax. So your stone, you said to me that the stone is exist and the stone forgive your sin. But as you see, your God could not even, you know, preserve the stone. There's nothing left. There's little tiny, 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 little, you know, look, let me show it. Let me even highlight them for you. I don't know if you have a good vision like me, you know, because... What do you mean? I was, I was in Mecca, like I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah, this is what you see. Your own eyes. Do you, do you have, did you have a picture with it? Why did not take a picture, man? You should send me a picture. I will put it on my channel. That would be wonderful. My brother, I'm I'm unlucky. I had my my shit iPhone and then it broke. Yeah. Then Alhamdulillah, I got new phone last week. Allah, he he you was have, really blessed me. You have your shit phone in the Kaaba? No, yani it was it was not very good. Like it, it oh, became broken. Uh, you so you I made me worry. Buy. You take your shit phone to the Kaaba. That's not nice. Anyway, so look with me. Here he, here you see. Those are the rocks. There's no little tiny pulpit, you know. Where, where is the black stone? So you must tell you lie to yourself. Uh, Muhammad, he says that this stone will witness for you until the judgment day. And as you see, nothing left. Look, where is the stone? Uh, little tiny pulpit. But you know, but you know, but you know uh, Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he was uh, actually mentioned in the in the Old Testament. I know. S Songs of Solomon. In the Song of Solomon, is that the legs of the, the he's talking about the legs or the boobs? Yeah, this was the song of what song. You, you know, about? you see, Muslims, you are funny. Ahmad Didat was making fun of the song of Solomon for uh, for like uh, ten years, and then one day somebody told him that Muhammadim is in the song of Solomon. Suddenly, the song of Solomon is not about porn. All you Muslims, you keep saying that song of Solomon is about porn. Then suddenly, Muhammad in the song of Solomon, and suddenly the song of Solomon become holy. So listen, listen. Your prophet is in the song of Solomon while Solomon was singing for Muhammad. No, but like he, he, like he was just mentioning him like a prophecy. Why he did not sing for the black stone? No, but like, when are you gonna realize that, that Jesus he was uh, actually a Muslim? Like, he was a Muslim. When, when okay, if Jesus was a Muslim, how come he don't have a wife? She is at the age of Muhammad wife Aisha. <laughs> I don't know, because Jesus, maybe he didn't not want a wife. Like, you okay. don't have to marry someone. All right. Islam. So Jesus don't want to have a wife. That's mean he is not like the rest of a human. Okay, this is a good point. Thank you for saying that. And then Jesus, he never commits sin. Muhammad is a sinner. So how show you can where, be... Uh, show me where Muhammad uh, commits sin. It says, like he says, uh, I think it's Quran. I don't remember, but like, I, I heard when I was in the mosque this Friday, uh, he told me... Um, who told uh, you on that, Friday? That, Who told imam, the imam? imam. That, that, what, uh, what his name, your that, imam? What his name? Huh? What his name, the imam? Say? What is the name of the imam? Maybe I will remember him because I have many students, they graduated by me. Do you remember? Do you know his name? 
Yeah, he's up. His name what? Up. His name is up. Up. What up mean? Abdu. Abd. 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 What? Bro, you hear me? Well, what are you saying? Uh, you were saying up. Okay, listen. So, up. so what your Imam said to you about Muhammad? That he was the the best uh, prophet, uh, in, like best example for all humans. Yeah, exactly. This is why the Muslim they accuse him of staying underwear. No, but maybe they were like you know it's easy to lose some things you know like you know for example when the last when, week, the, I, I when the last time last, you when the last example, time you last lost week, your when the last time you lost your underwear. No, but look like mistakes can happen. No. Like, what, you mean uh, we're talking like, about underwear? Know, what do you mean those things can happen? Maybe, what, hold on. Maybe, maybe. What, what, what do you mean that those things can happen? I mean the prophet was accused of stealing underwear, and then he said you might he might he lost it. What lost it? I mean, uh, uh, and you, and then you say to me those things happen. The Muslim they accuse him that the prophet he did yaghul, which means he stole. He is a thief. Who is accusing him? Not the enemy. Those are the companions of the prophet, and in the Quran. Yes, but, uh, but those people that accuse him, they were like uh, Judah. Yani, ah, like, uh, but all of them, all of them, they accuse him. Not even one. Look like your prophet. He have twelve Judas. Yes. Ah, what the about what about your prophet? What what, the, what what about prophet. your prophet? He was a Judah too. No, he's the best. He's the best leader. Okay, okay. If if a man he come but, to your house, but, listen, listen. Uh, you know, like I I respect you, mother. So I'm going to talk to you. But I'm not trying to offend you. Let us say you are married. No, 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 my brother. Like, I... listen, listen, just listen to me. Listen to me. I have a nice story to tell you. Uh, if if uh, if a person come to your house and you are married, are you married? I'm only nineteen. Huh? Allah, couple years. Okay. Well, may Allah give you four wives temporarily. So listen. So let us say you are married, and then your father he come to your house and he started flirting with your wife. Do you think your father would do that? Is different. Is the Prophet Muhammad? No, no. I'm talking about your father. No, but like any, you, you're taking like uh, example as like normal human and Muhammad. Like it's different. It's a prophet of of Allah. So, prophet of Allah, he will flirt with the wife of the son, or he will not. No, but for example, David, like he had uh, other wives, but like uh, you know, and, like it was. And huh? David was a sinner. Even the Bible confirmed he was a sinner. Even God, he punished him. God, he punished David. David was a crying. He's asking God for forgiveness all over the Bible. Even he, you know, when he offered to build a temple, he said, no, I don't want, uh, you know, uh, your hand in blood. So David was condemned in the Bible. He is not, he was not doing good. But I'm asking you now, did your prophet, he go to his own son house and he flirt with the wife when the husband was not there and later he had sex with her? Get it. it was different times 1400 years oh ago. so at that time the ethical prophet after long after jesus after 600 years after jesus at that time people they can go to their son house and they can have sex with the son wife oh but look it was different times I understand, Habibi, I understand, understand, I understand, understand, I understand, I understand. So like, your example, prophet was a very good example, man. He went to his own son. He found the wife alone. And obviously the son, he is not doing good in bed. So he decided to help his son in boom, boom. So he said to her, is my son doing good job? She said, I swear by Allah, he did not do boom, boom for two nights. I said, okay, let's do it. By the time he come back, I would do five boom, boom. So the prophet of Allah, because at that time, as you said, it was different. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, no, at that time, you know, the Bible, we have tons of verses in the Bible forbid us from fornication and to wish a woman. She is not our woman. So your the prophet Bible has been corrupted. He was corrupted. That is a shocking news. So why your prophet is lying in the Quran, saying that he believe in what we have? No, but the, it was corrupted after he died. That's why, like you know, ah, Quran, corrupted it, like, after he no, died. Ah, yes. what a horrible because, thing! Because you know, in the Quran it says, you know, all oh, you people of the book. Yes, then it was not corrupted, but you know, after uh, all you pagan and uh, a human worship. Okay, hold yeah, on, hold like, on. So the people of the book at that time. Do they worship that Jesus as God at that time? You said the Bible corrupted after Muhammad died. 
But the Quran says that the Christian believe in Jesus as God before Muhammad died. But like in the original Bible, they never said that Jesus But you say that the Bible was not corrupt at that time after yes, he died. So how? Not, it was okay, not, it thank was you. Not, so so no, now, no. so that means that the true Bible teach that we believe in the Trinity and the Trinity is true. It's not a corruption. And, and, and tell me, how can a three person not be three God? There's no three God. We believe in one God. Even your Quran saying that we well, believe. Three God. No, the Quran. Like the, no, no, my friend. No, my friend. Listen, even your Quran says. Uh, so even those who say that uh, uh, Allah is one of three so and then the, the Quran in different verse confirm that they are one God the Christian believe in that but the Christian don't believe in Allah number one secondly if Allah is number three who is the second in Christianity and who is the third do you know the you guys say it's the Holy Spirit and the, the Son, right? Okay, thank you very much. That means the Quran is a stupid book because the Quran say that the Christian believe the Messiah is Allah and the Christian believe that Mary is the wife of Allah. But we don't believe in that. So if the Messiah is Allah, but look, who is the I'm second? Just, no, no, listen, listen, ask. listen. Who is the second one? Now we, because we, because now we eliminated Two names, the Messiah, he is Allah according to the Quran. The Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah. So if the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, just use mathematics. Are you too good in mathematics? Actually, I had F minus in that, but that's not the point. You like, have you know, F Allah minus? Your teacher, he gave you F minus? But that's not the point. Allah gave no, the, the point wisdom. is this teacher is dirty. Shame on him. If my teacher gave me F minus, I would do something to him. Anyway, listen. If the Messiah is Allah, that means now Allah and the Messiah is one God. So why you Muslim lie? You say the Christian believe in three gods. This is what my mom told me. Hey, your mom, she does she have F minus too. Here we go. The Quran, chapter 5, verse 17 says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. So how you Muslim lie says we have believe in three gods. All of you Muslim, you have F minus, you have F minus 99, 100, 200, the band, you know. But I never saw a Muslim, he go even, you don't even get D. You know, you get a, what, what the, a, a, B, C, F, D, D. D is after F. I thought F before D. Which one is before B, before one? You know, do you know? So you get F minus, and the Quran say the Christian belief is the Messiah is Allah. So now the Christian believe in one God, and the Muslim they lie all over, and their Quran is full of contradiction. So how we believe in three gods, but, but, and but then we have that the Messiah you, is Allah, and they are one. Can you just tell me, like, how, like, how are you saying we Muslim lie when the Quran says that Muhammad was the best man ever live? He's, he's saying he is the one who made the Quran. I will make a book about myself and I will no, say no, no, I am no, the no, best. No, no, it came from heaven. It came from heaven. I, it came to me from heaven too. You know, I was sitting in the other day in the bathroom and I received Quran. And obviously it's coming from the heaven of Allah because it smells so bad. So I said to him, to myself, you know, uh, uh, Alif, Lam, Meem, this is do Jameem. Nobody understand what I'm saying. Do deem and Muhammad who is meme and uh, what meme mean? It's a miracle. What uh, what what the like you know when the Muslim we say something to them, anything we say to them it's a miracle. But the second we ask them what it's mean they don't know. So when you Muslim you say something and you say Muhammad is the best man. We ask you who said that. You say Muhammad. Muhammad said he is the best man. But look, this is the words of Allah. Okay, the word of Allah. Let me ask you. As long as this is the word of Allah, uh, do you know? Did you study some little bit of about science? Uh, what, like in general, something specific. What do you mean in general? Like science in general, like you know, like general subject in school. You know, when like I was specific? when I, when I was in your age, I graduated from a university. It's called NASA, and NASA NASA University. I got a NASA, degree when you were 19 years old. Marshall. No, I was nine years old actually, 
because I was really very smart at a very uh, like a, at the age of six I was mature you know me and Aisha we used to go to the same university she no, got her master you cannot you cannot go to Aisha it was and we cannot we cannot okay hold on hold on hold on hold on I want to ask you how, where, how is this hard for you to okay, understand okay 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 for example where where where, where, where look, 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 in the Old Testament uh -huh. you guys you guys think that that you get forgiveness of God by by slaughtering and by what by what and then now by slaughtering animal oh, okay and then now and then now you think you is forgiven by the blood of jesus yeah different do, do times you, do you must different times, do, different times no that's not true nothing changed the the slaughtering of the animal is preparing and waiting for the coming of the messiah this is symbolic for what jesus would do to us even your quran says that when allah he gave order and command to abraham to slaughter his son Allah himself he gave a slaughter is that correct I don't know. what do you mean I don't know you are the one who opened the topic Look, like, did, uh, did, did, did Allah did Allah slaughter animal to forgive his sin no, he just forgave like uh, why Allah why, uh, no why Allah you, why like you see God, you, why, you why said you said God, why your God cannot just just forgive Listen, why, listen. Why, my why God, he forgive. So my he God, my God, Jesus, he says, go and sin no more. Your sin is forgiven. We can show you tons of verses in the Bible. Jesus, Jesus yes, forgiving yes. sin. That, but your God, listen, listen, your God cannot forgive sin. Okay, listen, listen. Can Allah forgive sin? Yes. Okay, so why Allah said to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin? Yeah, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's only Allah who decides who sin but, is But forgiven. the one is talking is Allah. Uh -huh. If Allah is the one is talking, how Allah He say, may Allah forgive your sin. He was like talking uh, like Yani as a father to uh, like He do to His son. What do you mean, father? Like, he is Allah. Like, like, now, now, like, now like, Allah you know, became a father look, of Muhammad. I will, I, will, I will explain. I will explain. Explain. You know, explain. Okay. Explain. You know, you know when you were a little kid and you say, "Oh, daddy, can I, can I go buy the candy?" Yeah. And you say, "Inshallah." Like is is the same. So you are like fooling your son, you don't want to buy him a candy. No, no, no. Like Yanni, maybe if like it depends. My friend, Muhammad he committed a lot of sin. And now Allah saying to Muhammad, May Allah forgive your sin. So how many Allah you Muslims have? But like it is maybe was because Allah didn't have, did not make his decision. Oh, he didn't, he's not the one who make decisions. It's other Allah he make decisions. Is that correct? No, but like he has to think through, like, do I need to forgive or do I need I to I thought forgive? Allah, he can make decision, he's fast in thinking, look like he's so slow. So he said to Muhammad, hey, give me time to think, may Allah forgive. But look, he's saying, may Allah forgive your sin. He is not saying, may I forgive your sin. And don't Allah knew the future? I thought he knew the future. Look, he do not know. So he's making a wish, he's making a prayer. This is a prayer, supplication. Allah making yeah, supplication. Yeah, will know in the, in the judgment day. Yeah, but he's saying, may Allah... And he is the one who's yes. talking. You must have already. Yes, it's because, it's because when that was written, it was not judgment day yet. But it will be no, you forgive your sin. Now. You forgive your sin him now. You know, not later. I mean, why you want to forgive him later? He is your prophet you Muhammad. Know, you know why? You know why? 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 Because my mom he told me that you know for for the non-Muslim, if they never believe in Allah, Allah will give them one last chance. Mm -hmm. Like like when they stand before Him. Yeah. Be believe in me right now, or you're going to hellfire. You know what? Like this is why. I, I want to say thank you for saying that. I'm going to have fun laughing at Muhammad all my life. And then in the day of judgment, Allah will give me second chance. I say, hey, Allah, take. I was joking. You know? <laughs> I screwed, no, but, I screwed but Muhammad all my but, life. But, but, and now you decide to give me a chance. Listen, listen to me. I want to tell you a story, which is a really sad story. Uh, I, I want to share this only with you. Don't Please don't tell anyone. Uh, my grandfather, he passed away. And I was a kid. I didn't know what's going on. So I go to his room and I find him standing. First day. Can you say again, please? I, I had the. He died. Theory. My grandfather, he died. This is a long time ago. You know, long, long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he died. Poor guy. I mean, he's old, you know. And uh, he used to eat a lot of rice and stuff like this. So he died. So anyway, uh, you know, when he died, he died and he was holding a stick in his hand. So. I go to his room first day, he's standing, not moving. And my mom, the family, everybody go to talk to him, he don't answer. 
second day, third day, one month, nobody noticed that he is dead for a year. Why do you think we did not notice that he is dead? He is holding a stick standing and he was dead. What do you think about my true story? Like, you know, it's only Allah knows if it's true or not. What do you mean? Are you hurting your my feeling now? You are saying I'm lying? Because, you know, like uh, the people, they can be deceived, deceived. You know, for example, before, like uh, people, when they when they been in coma for three days, they think they are dead. But then, oh, no. No, no, but he is standing, you know, he's holding a stick, standing up, you know. It's a miracle by Allah. For a year. That can, can be explained. It's a miracle by Allah. Yes. Uh, and then the termite, they ate his stick and he fell down. So do you think the termite, they destroyed this miracle of Allah? Look, like, can I just ask you, like, do you not want to become a Muslim because, you, like, were abused by a Muslim family or something? Nobody, because, no. Like, if, if you if you get to know the, if you know no, the, no. the true Allah and the true okay, Prophet, okay, listen, listen, listen. Uh, then, then first you of will, all, you will see it so beautiful. First, first of all, nobody ever will dare to abuse me. This is number one. That will be very, <laughs> yeah, that will be a very, very bad mistake. Suddenly, I I don't believe in Allah because he's stupid. Don't you see? Your God Allah, he claimed that Solomon, he died and nobody noticed that he is dead because he was standing for a year holding a stick. Who in the world will believe in such a stupid story? Do you believe in it? You say? Do you believe in it? Can you say again, please? Uh, uh, I told you the story I... about my grandfather. He died standing oh, for yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. do you believe in this story or not? I have to be there to see with my own eyes. With what? I have to be there see with my own eyes. I don't know. I don't understand. What? What? Again? I can uh, do, like, are the eyewitnesses uh, trustworthy or they, they have financial gain for telling the story? Is it uh, uh, like when you study in school, a person when he died, don't he, his body start decay right away? No, it takes uh, seven hours first. I mean, seven hours. We're talking about one year, <laughs> man. Yes, but you know. Like if there, if there, if it's in like cold environment or something like this, then it like it can be. Well, we are in the Middle it. East. It's very hot there. It's a desert. It's not cold environment. So what do you think the reason that he died standing and he did not even decay? What do you think? My grandma, she said because he eat hummus. Hummus preserve his body. But maybe, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe he just took a nap. He took a nap for a year standing. Look, like in heaven, like all of these things will be. I'm not talking about heaven. I'm talking about what happened in my grandfather's bedroom, man. I'm not talking. Did I talk about heaven? I'm saying in my but, grandfather's bedroom, even my grandmother, she did not know that she came to him. She said, you know, she, yes, she is funny, yes, you know. But, she said to him, yes, but, honey, listen, the, do you like to eat? You know, you like to eat? And he said, don't answer. She comes second day, third look, day. You, nobody noticed. Look, you, yeah, you have to understand. Like yeah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh -huh. like he. he like he he can do miracles that no one can understand like okay. the, the quran is full of uh, so scientific so this miracles. this is a the, the quran is full of scientific miracles yes so why lili da was saying that all the miracle of the quran is debunked but but he doesn't know what he's talking about the shaitan he got to him you are like, you saying uh, that ali dawa is a stupid Yes. Uh, Why? Like, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shaitan got to him. Like, Shaitan got had... Ali Dawa. Explain that to me. What do you mean? Because he says the Quran is not true. He is like you. So now you Muslim saying that Ali Dawa is a sat satanic person and he is uh, deceiving Muslims and he's trying to make people leave Islam, correct? Is not is not the real. It's like the ISIS. The ISIS is not real Islam, but they think they are. Yeah, but focus with me. When he said that the Quran is debunked, but he himself he said that he believed in Islam because there is scientific miracle in the beginning, but then he noticed that the Quran is full of nonsense. That's what he said in his video. No, but look, like he he just he, like he just don't understand the Quran. Like he, there's a difference between just reading the. The words and understanding what is what is inside. This is why we have the hadith. So this is like why you have such an opinion about such a great scholar like Ali Dawa. No, but he's not good. Like he's my not best, good. My the, the best scholar in the world right now. Yeah. Zakir Naik. He, Zakir he Naik. Hey, Zakir Naik, come here. Come here. Is he playing with the football? Zakir. Yeah, talk to him. Good print. 
I told you I'm with and I'm going to talk to you. So Zach Hernayek is the best <laughs> scholar in the, in the world. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, can you tell me something? Like, as long as Ali, Ali according to you, is an idiot, and he is deceiving the Muslim, and he's a liar. His eyes tell, tells everything. Like his, he, his what? Maybe, maybe, maybe his, his mother drank something when he was, when he was in the valley. Ah, uh, you think he, he is born of a... He says stupid things, so he's like he have a, a birth defect, you think? Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. What's wrong with his eyes? And he, he looks like he's not well. You know what? Well, look, I'm telling you. I, I, I never thought about that. Hold on. You, you, what, what, what is, you, 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 man, you are so smart. Guys, look at his eyes. Yeah, yeah you are right. I mean, something yeah. wrong there. So what do you think it's about like his tilted, eyes? It's like tilted downwards. Like, you know, his, maybe... His what? His eyes are tilted downwards. Downwards. Like, downwards. Okay. Like diagonal downwards. So do you, th do you think this is like from Allah or this is from shaitan? No, no, it's because... It's because um, like he, his mother probably drank alcohol or something. She drank alcohol. She used to be drunk. You're saying, okay, I see. You got the but point look, there. But, but I'm telling you, like if, yeah. But look. Look, yeah. Like, if you if you had real debate with Zachary Nike, yeah, he would send you back to your mom. Okay, listen. Can you do me a favor? I want you to say now, and we will make the Christian. Uh, like uh, make a short video of you inviting Zach and Nike, challenging him to I debate me. You, you, will do, you will do excuse. Oh, today I have to. I have to read the Bible. Oh, today I have to. No, I am here. I stay here for many hours, almost every day. What are you, you talking about? I I never said I have. You know. Are you retired or can you? No, no. Or? Don't trust. Trust me. You know, like I will. Even my grandfather who die on the stick, he will come to watch the debate. Are you kidding me? So listen. What about you make now a challenge to Zachary Naik by your voice, or you promise me that you will email Zachary Naik, tell him that I asked this guy, do you dare to debate him? He said, yes. Can you please, a brother, Telling, like, accept uh, to debate like him? I've, I've seen, you know what Reddit is? What, what? Reddit. What? I don't know, I've had a problem with hearing like, you. Uh, Reddit, it's like uh, social media. Social media, yeah, I know social, but I don't know media. Media is, I don't talk to women, sorry. Women, media, you know. Okay, That's so like, you know, they are scary. Look, I'm telling you, yeah. like, the, the real reason, like, look, why why uh, you think you have never been the is because you have never debated with Zachary Nike. Like he, oh, so like you are saying man, to me, man, I've never been defeated. Okay, why then, maybe this is the same reason, if you are saying so, the Zakir Naik, according to Muslim, never been defeated because he did not debate me yet. <laughs> yes, because as long as I agree, I agree, I never been defeated. You agreed, I never been defeated. So what about you make an email and let Zakir Naik respond to you by a video? Says brother, this is the video conversation between me and this person who made thousands of Muslims leave Islam. Do you please? And, can and you if please? He you, if he defeats you, you take shahada. My friend, oh, not only I will take Shahada, I will take uh, Zakir Naik wife. <laughs> okay. Alhamdulillah, welcome to Muslim family already. <laughs> I will have only one? Huh? Only women? One woman? I said, Alhamdulillah, welcome to Muslim family. Already. What family? I will have four family as a start. I mean, don't change your deal. I don't accept Islam. one woman. I don't want... We, listen, we, listen. Islam is we have Islam to write Islam this in a contract. Family. Listen, if Zakir Naik, he won the debate, I want to get four Muslim women in my bed immediately. Do we agree? But look, if only, like, look, I don't know about that. Like, you don't Allah know. I know what I want, my friend. I know what I'm fasting for a long time, man. Not only 30 days. I mean, I'm fasting for years and years. So if Zakir Naik, he won the debate, and actually this is what make me Good lose. You know, you know what? No, that make me lose in purpose to get the women. <laughs> so... Do you can you can you ask Zach and I why you don't debate this guy? Okay, you know what? What about you get me a Skype of Zach and I? Just get me his Skype. I will call. Uh, uh, okay, I, I will try to fix it. But anyways, right now I will try to to, to destroy it because you don't know nothing about the Quran. You just told yeah. me I never been. You just told me I never been defeated, and you are saying to me I know yes, nothing about the Quran because because this debate is not is not over right now. Like, uh, it's not what I will. 
not this debate is not over right now. It's like, not I over. Send you home. No, That's I, I will send you home. We haven't gone to the Bible yet. Oh, you want to go to the Bible? The Bible of Allah? Yes. Do you have a Bible of Allah? Yes, there it was. All, like, look, Abraham was a Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. But you guys, but you guys want to make your own reality. Okay, I want to ask you, what is the name of the God of Abraham in the Bible? It was Allah. Where? Can you show me the verse that says Allah? Oh, but my Imam told me. Your Imam is a donkey, like the rest what of Muslims. You All of you are. Okay, hold on. You, you know the word donkey? Uh, yes, ya khmar. Khmar. Okay, so I want to ask you, uh, have you ever seen somebody in the mosque? He, like by mistake, he raised his head before the Imam finished the prayer. Do yes. so. Okay, that's good. Is it true that if you raise your head before the Imam finish, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey? Yes, but look, you don't understand. Like that verse was just like any yeah, as a joke. Like you know, your what? Like, your joke. Your prophet. He is making a threat that if you leave your head up yes, before. Yes, it, so April, listen, listen, April, listen. Okay, listen, April, listen. April, listen. April, what do you know everything? What are you talking about? Listen, so now you are praying to Allah. I mean, you are a decent Muslim and you know, you raise your head before the Imam. You don't even see the Imam because your head is down. How you will see him if he raised up yet or not? You know, uh, the one is in front of you, his ass is up. So how you will see? And there's a long crowd and especially if you are short. So why if you leave your head up, you are going to be punished by Allah and Allah will make your head Ahead of a donkey. Give me the reason. Because, because look, this is a joke. Like how you don't understand what a joke is. So your like, prophet making fun of Allah and the religion. No, Allah, he made a joke in the Quran. Like, you know, you don't want to be sitting all day just reading. It become boring. You're like, ah, oh, like, ha, ha, ha. Or like, you know, yani, a little bit entertainment. Yani. Ah, so the prophet here making entertainment. He is not being serious. Uh, look at this guy. He raised his head before the Imam and Subhanallah, look, his face is start to become a face of a donkey. Why you are making fun of your Prophet? Your Prophet, he did not say this is a joke. He said, the one who raised his head before the Imam, Allah will make his head a head of a donkey. Prank. Huh? Was prank. Was what? Was prank. Brank, brank? Yes. Ah, candy camera. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so, what is so funny? You are making fun of your prophet. Where he said it's a prank. I mean, this guy is speaking serious. This is why you Muslim, you are writing it. Where he says this, where, where you get this from that this was a joke? My mom told me. You keep saying to me, my mom, okay, get, let your mom speak to me. Bring, bring her. No, not, I didn't, I didn't say mom, I said imam. Imam, imam, oh, okay. You call your imam right now, wake him up, I will but make his Habibi, head. He is sleeping. Okay, he, don't worry, I want to see his no, head, you know if his I head is a head of a donkey or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, oh, I was wondering, until I saw this hadith, why every Muslim his head look weird? I don't know, I mean, I was suspicious. But then I said to myself, you know what? The prophet must be true prophet. Because how in the world he predict that the Muslim, they have a head of a donkey? I mean, you tell me. Look, no, like listen, listen. It, like, it's just a joke. Like, where, yani, why you are, I mean, why you are saying it's a joke? joke? Why are you saying this is Sahih and this is not, he's not laughing. Do even you, in the Bible. Do you was, see, do you see anyone? He said. Even, even, even in the Bible, there was a joke. You know, there's when, a joke. When, when, okay. When, Allah. Yeah, there's when, a joke. When, Muhammad when, is listen. in the Bible. There's a joke. Yeah, Muhammad in the Bible. Listen, this is the joke. Oh, listen. So listen. <laughs> no, but listen, listen. No, listen, 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 listen. You know, you know where when when Moses he, he was before God and and he uh, sorry when uh, Moses was in front of Allah and and the and uh, in the bushfire. Yeah. Hold on. You, you, said, did you say uh, Moses was in front of Allah? Yes, like yeah, in the bush. Do Allah have a front? You know what I mean, man. You know what I mean. I mean, Anyways. I do not know what they mean. I'm trying to understand. Do okay, Allah whatever, is okay, Allah? Whatever. Do Allah That's have a front and back, or he's round? I don't know. 
but that is not the that is not you the, just said to me the front of allah okay listen so you don't say things you don't mean listen but this same is, time this is not the point. same same like time you, same you time say, okay say, say all the time say, same, same time you you muslims you stole the story about moses from the bible but the story in the quran is funny is it true that allah is the tree in the quran what is it true that the allah is the tree in the quran he is the tree no, what do you mean he is i know is i it, think so you think so? So how how Allah is a shin and now Allah is a tree? And the shape shifting. Sh what uh, shape shifting? He's Allah. He can do what he wants. Can he shift to be Lily Dawa? If you want, yes. Ah, you know what? I was wondering where I saw Zakir Naik before. Now I know. He was he, he was he was a shifted God or a look of Allah. You know, I was wondering, like, I mean, this guy, he looks so good. And he took him like 20 years to grow his beard, fertilizer after fertilizer. So listen, uh, I want you to give me one proof before you go that the Quran is from a God, his name is Allah. You know what the proof is? Yeah. All of the miracle that all the previous prophet made. This is the proof. Okay, this is a talk is cheap. I can say all the miracle done by me. I am the one who gave him the power. You can say that do, too. Do you, have, do you have proof of the miracle? No, no. Yeah, this like is for talk, example, talk is cheap. For example, talk, talk, talk is cheap. He, he takes some mud and he he blew into it and then became a, a bird. You're amazing. Can Allah do that too? If he wants to, yes. Well, there's no witnesses. You said to me before, there's witnesses. Yes, so because the, it's in heaven. But there, like, yeah, there's ah, no there's no heaven. heaven. No, Jesus, he did miracle in front of people. Allah never did anything. So listen to me. Yes, you say, I, say, I have a miracle for you. Muhammad. I have a miracle for you from the Quran. According to your school, when you learn in the school, did they teach you about uh, hail? About hell. Hail is, do you speak Arabic? Do you know Arabic? No, I only know a couple of words. Okay, hail Arab is the ice, the ice which is coming like, uh, when it's not snow yet, but it's ice, like big ice, like balls come from the sky. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Swedish, according. It's Swedish, it's okay. According to the school, where hail is coming from? Uh, it's it's yeah. Uh, it comes from the cloud. From the cloud. So, are you sure it's not coming from mountains in heaven? Yes, because they have done the the scientific research for it. Yeah, and they found what? They found mountains in heaven. Like a. Like any the the water is in the cloud, but it be, it's so freezing temperature that it became ice and then yeah. It but this not I'm talking about. I'm saying, I heard somebody saying that hail is not coming from the cloud, and the scientists are a bunch of liars, and it's coming from mountains, flying mountains in the sky. What is the problem with that? So which one? You just told me the science. They say this, and you believe in it. Now you don't. You say no problem with that. What, what is the problem? But this is against what you just said. What, what do you mean? You said, I asked you where hell is coming from. You said scientists, they say it is coming from the cloud. Yes. Okay, but the Quran says that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Allah, he break it pieces and he sent it down to earth. So... Yeah. How this is a book from God? But it was like Yani. Yani. Like it, the what? Yani. Yani what? But look, it was one thousand four hundred years ago. Yeah, but uh, is that an excuse to be stupid? Like because you are. No, but like, but like what you guys don't understand is was different times. Like, so no, was for example, so are for you example, saying to me at that time like, for, are you, for example for example for example, for example so you are saying to me that uh, 1400 years ago hail used to come from different places i don't know i did, i did not live 1400 years ago i, I lived and I mean, was there my friend wait, wait, i was wait, in the mountain. actually there, me myself were you with yeah, muhammad yeah i was even you know i was before muhammad. I, I spank muhammad you, i will i will tell you my real story i am al khadr you know al khadr Do you know Al Khadr? Hello. Hello. Do you know Al Khadr? Do you know Al Khadr? Hello. Can you hear me? I hear you. Do you know Al Khadr? What happened?
Hello, hello. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, later, later, call me again. That's it. We are done with this guy. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Do you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. I hear so, you. So, uh, Muhammad. So, fourteen hundred years ago, hail used to come from mountains, and now he don't, doesn't. But it was different time. Habibi, like, were ah, you there? Habibi, Anur, Lain, yeah, okay. So he, 1400 years ago, used to come from mountains flying in the how, sky, how like Avatar. Were, were you there? Were you there? Yeah, I was there. I told you my reading like, story. You know, if, if Allah, he wants, he can, he can change. Ah, he changed it. Oh, okay. Okay, I want to ask you. Do women have a sperm? No. No? They have the egg. They have eggs, but they don't have a sperm. Yes. So why the Quran says they have a sperm? But like you, you have to, you have to read the context. To uh, oh, a second ago you said they don't. Now you have to read the context. What context? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you watch a lot of Tom and Jerry? So that you are saying to me that Tom, he stole the hair of Jerry when he was asleep. He stole his hair from his mustache. And now you are saying to me, oh, he did not stole it. He was borrowing it to fix his guitar. And he said, oh, what are you talking about? Each time I say to you something, you laugh at it at the beginning, and then you say to me, you have to understand. It's possible at that time that hail is coming from mountain. He was there. <laughs> well, look, All right, like my friend. No, no, I, but, I, I, but, I got but, to but go. You, I have four wives waiting for me, and I am like Prophet uh, Solomon. I decide to do jihad, uh, sex jihad, and I will have 99 kids in the morning, so we can do jihad, alhamdulillah. May, like may the shin... Muhammad? Look, okay, okay, okay. Prove to me if uh, Jesus is the way I will convert right now. Wallah. Wallah. How, how you want to prove to me that Jesus is the way and you are swearing by, this, by shaitan? <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, if, if Jesus is a human, shouldn't he commit sin? Like us. I mean, we are a human. Your prophet, he said. Just because you are human doesn't mean you have to sin. No. You, here we go. And now you will say to me, I agree with Muhammad. Muhammad said, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Is that correct? Yes, but Jesus is son of Adam also, but he did not sin. How then he is a son of Adam if he is not born from Adam? Yani, yani. Yani. It, was Ab it was Abel and Cain and then... No, he is not born of Adam. I have nothing to do with, with Adam. But now you just said, every son of an Adam, he commits sin, but Jesus never commits sin. Well, I thought all of us, Muhammad, he just confirmed that every human being who is a son of Adam is a sinner. It's a must. But okay, Jesus well. is not. Why he is not a sinner? When Muhammad is a sinner himself. He is prophet. That's why. Muhammad is a sinner. I just showed you the verse saying, Allah saying to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. But the difference, like, uh, Isa was uh, the, the favorite prophet. So Isa, he is a human, but he is perfect. He never commits sin. Do we agree? Yes. Muhammad is not perfect. Adam is not perfect. You are not perfect. I am not perfect. Nobody is perfect. The only one is perfect is God. That is Jesus. But what? But you just said to me, he is perfect. We agree on that. But look, like my whole life, I, uh, like I, I, I've been a Muslim. Doesn't like matter. They, they, they tell, they tell me like what? Uh, my uh, like, wh why would my mother lie to me all this time? She's not lying to you, my friend. Your mom, she is a good lady, but she is being deceived to. She's been lied to. She is a victim. Well, I, I can't well, tell. I can't tell. Listen, I don't know you. I can tell that your mother, she is a good woman. Your father is a good man, and you are a good person. I'm not. You know, I'm not against you. And I'm not even saying to you, you are, you are a bad person. 
But I am here trying to help you. I'm not here. Well, what do you mean, bad person? Like any sinner or what? No, bad person. All of us, we commit sin. There's no human being don't commit sin, my friend. So what if the word, then, if like the word bad, person? if the word bad means sin, doing sin, all of us, we are bad. But at the end of the day, we try to follow God so we can redeem ourselves and find the truth. And you ask me how you can prove to me that Jesus is God. So I answered you. And you agreed with me that Jesus is the only one who never commits sin. And as you see, your prophet, he said, every son of an Adam, he commits sin. Every son of Adam. This is explained why in Christianity, Jesus and even in Islam, Jesus is not the son of Adam. He is the son of God. For if he is a son of Adam, he will do follow the step of Adam and he will be sinner like Adam. But Jesus, his perfection is not coming from Adam. Is coming from his father. This is why he said, Be holy like your father. So Jesus is holy, the same as the Father. This is why we Christian we follow the holy Jesus, not the sinner Muhammad. And if you agree but with what me, what is the difference if you, if you sin or not sin? There is a huge difference. If God, God, you know, if God commits sin, that means God is not like is like us. So you ask me why Jesus is God? What is the proof? You agree with me? He never commits sin. You said to me even he is more close to Allah from Muhammad. Even but what? For example, for example, uh, six years ago, my mother she had baby, but uh, but he died in the stomach. So, so? he, he seen she seen or what? No, this is not about she, she no, my, no, my friend. She sinless also. No, no, this is not because of a sin. Yeah, you know, your mother maybe she have some complex in her, you know. Yes, and her but the baby she never seen she was not born okay like I, I will go so, with you so that, okay let me, let so me, then it's let, sinless. Okay, i will ask you you mentioned this i want to uh, i want to see now what what you think in your opinion and be honest with me your brother who the baby who died in your mother's uh, 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 womb is he going to go to heaven or he will go to hell allah wants to what if allah wants to but you said he now he will commit sin. Why he will go to hell? Okay, yeah, he, he will not like, yeah, he, he will not. He will go to heaven. He will go to heaven. Do you know that your prophet he says no? It might be what? the opposite. If he said that he's because he's crazy, because in Islam you believe in destiny. You don't believe in because you you know Islam is a stupid religion. Islam is not because you commit sin you go to hell. Islam you go to say, to hell to but hell like, or heaven. You say this. You say this, but you know. I, I I read somewhere online that like he said like uh, the the estimated the IQ of, of Muhammad uh, uh, was what was it again? Was so it? Let me bring it up. And my friend, the, prof, the, the IQ of uh, Prophet Muhammad Subhanahu wa, wa Taala, huh? it was estimated to be two hundred ten something like that. My friend, your Prophet IQ is not even in the size of a head of a lizard. I can prove it in two seconds. Because if your enemy is a lizard, you are, your brain is a brain of a lizard. Your enemy, the size of your enemy is your size. So if your prophet, he considered the lizard is his enemy and he announced we have to do jihad against lizard because he tried to burn Abraham. That means your God, your Muhammad, his IQ is not even exist for only foolish people. They believe that the lizard is the enemy of God and he was trying to burn Abraham. So those stories, they make them up in the YouTube and in the internet just to fool people like you and your mother. So listen to me. But, but, what, but what listen, should, listen, what you're a prophet, go, he but said. Okay, but, but listen, have, listen, have... listen, listen. Why a baby will go to hell? Give me a reason. If Islam is legitimate religion, I ask you why a baby will go, go to heaven, you said, because he did not commit sin, right? But why he will go to hell? Your prophet, he said, no, he might go to hell. Muhammad and Aisha, they went to a funeral. And Aisha, she said, oh, this is a, this is child is like a bird. He did not commit sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. Muhammad, he said to her, don't be stupid, Aisha. It might be the other way, which means he go to hell. She said, how come? He said, because when Allah, he created human in their backbone, the, 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 the backbone of their father, he decides who will go to hell, who will go to heaven already. So it doesn't matter if you commit sin or not. And this is why I say to you, you are being a fool following Muhammad. Because according to Islam, it doesn't matter if you believe in Allah or not. It doesn't matter if you commit sin or not. It doesn't matter if you are a Hindu or Buddha or a Christian. It is a destiny. 
And that is a but, stupid... But I, but I have to ask you, even in Christianity, if you... If, okay, you say I am being tricked by, by Shaitan, but if I am being tricked, why, why should I go to heaven for this? Uh, if you're what? Like I did not know. No, you know, God, he gave you a brain. You decide to be stupid. You decide to to, to, to follow uh, your your desire, and then you deserve what you get. You ask what you ask, you know, you get what you ask for. So, when you, listen, when you're a prophet, when the Muslim, they say, Muhammad was a smart man. Do you really believe Muhammad was a smart man? Yes, I read it again. It was like the estimated IQ was too... too okay, bad. but the one who made this IQ, he himself obviously have no IQ. Because obviously Muhammad is so stupid. And we can prove it so easy. Do you want me to prove it to you? Prove what? Prove that he was stupid. Yes. What does stupid mean before I prove it? What does stupid mean for you? Uh, I... Low, uh, low intelligence. Low intelligence. So, you know, people, they believe yani, in suppers. Yani, no common sense. No common sense. Okay. All right. You know, once I saw a rat. And I noticed that this rat don't drink milk of camel when I was in the desert. And because I'm smart, I decided that this rat must be a Jew because the Jews don't drink milk. Do you think this is smart of me? I mean, can you get to the point? I'm asking you, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I want to see the IQ, the one you're talking about. So I was in the desert. I saw a rat. I have a camel milk in a, in a dish. He refused to camel drink milk it. Camel milk or piss? No, camel milk, camel milk. No, the, the, the desert uh, rats, they are from good family. They don't drink piss. Only Muslims drink piss. So, uh, the, this, this rat refused to drink milk of the camel. My conclusion, because I'm so smart, that this rat must be a Jew, because in the Torah, it's forbidden for the Jews to drink camel milk or to eat camel meat. So, what do you think about my observation and how smart I am? I'm sorry, I don't really understand the question. Okay, let me repeat for you. So, I was sitting in my backyard, and I put little milk in a dish, milk of a camel, and then the rat, he come to it, and he refused to drink it. And because he refused to drink it, I said to myself, aha, uh -huh, he must be a Jewish rat, because Jews in the Torah, it's forbidden for them to drink camel milk. So what do you think about my intelligence and the way I was able to observe things and to come to the conclusion? Stupid. Stupid, thank you very much. This is your prophet story. Where you said this? You said already stupid. You cannot take it back. It's in front of you on the screen. Here we go. You're a prophet. He saw a rat and this rat refused to drink the camel milk. And he come to the conclusion that this rat must be a Jew. And you yourself, you said, this is a stupid. You cannot take it back. You just left Islam and you insulted your prophet in graduation. But, okay, but but I still don't understand this. What, like, but, 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 I repeated the story for you three, four no, no, times. No, 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 no. And you I'm understand sorry. it very no, well. No, and no, now, I'm talking, don't, I'm not, don't, I'm not talking, don't bug me. I'm not talking me. about the story. I'm no, okay, but you story. say, no, you say this is stupid. So yes. a person, yes, a person I, I, who have I, such I, a conclusion must be stupid. And now you, you just defeated your prophet. Lies. I'm not talking about the story. I'm talking about Christianity. I'm not talking about the story. No, you are I, talking about I, the story. You said it's stupid yes, yes, okay. about I, the rat. I, I, I agree. It's stupid. Yes. Okay. So your prophet is stupid. How he can be a prophet? And how a Muslim they write article saying but he has two hundred IQ, whatever. But even uh, smart people can. Okay, so you're a prophet is a stupid, a smart person. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh, say, oh my rat. You're a prophet. He is so stupid at the point. He think that those rats are Jews. Why? Because he didn't drink camel, uh, camel milk. This is stupidity itself. Okay, but but how do you get saved in Christianity? 
and and how stop following you know sure? stop stop following the stupidity of Muhammad, and I will tell you how you can be safe in Christianity. Just denounce Muhammad right now. Say I don't follow Muhammad no more. This guy is obviously stupid. He can't be a prophet, and he's a liar. And then we can talk about the Bible, no problem. But I will, I will get the, like my my family, they they will kick me out of the house. My friend, like the, the Lord, the Lord will provide you. Where, where, where the Lord, the Lord will provide you. Trust me. I was 18 years old. My father, he said, if you don't do and study medical, uh, go to to be a doctor. I will not support you. I said, as you said. And since then, until now, I never took a penny from him. I was younger than you, so don't worry about it. Be a man. You can you can live and you can be whatever you want. Like, you can. Yeah. I mean, me my, myself. I have no time, nowhere to go at that time. Trust me. Actually, this is the best thing happened ever for me because this is what make me tough and strong. Is not because I was being nursed by mom and dad. I decided to be a man, stand for what I want when I was a kid. So don't tell me where I will go. You want to go to hell? You want to follow Muhammad? Go to hell? Is that what you're asking for? No, but like I wasn't talking about like they would just kick me out like they my friend you will find they, like, a million it's, it's like a, you, you they, will find a million way me. you they, are you like you know my my older sister she left Islam uh, like two three years ago okay like she they really beat her up badly for this my friend yeah. so are you saying to me your sister she is more brave than you no but like I'm not talking about just ass like ass whooping like they they fuck her up completely what they did to her they they poured the uh, boiling oil on her like she she got the uh, 30 degree burns are this. you serious yes and did uh, did anyone report your parents to the police of of course my my father is in jail right now what an animal what do you feel about oh. your sister now what do you feel for her well, honestly, I haven't spoken to her since because like, she she ran away after this. Like, uh, no one con has contact with her. Did the police hide her so nobody can hurt her again? Yes, the, this is the problem. Like, they they want to kill. They want to kill her. Well, you know, your father should be deported from the country. And I, you know, I was mistaken then about your parents. I said you are a nice person. Your your dad is a, you know, must be a nice person. But you obviously your dad. Did your mom share in that crime too? No, no, no. No? Well, your dad in jail, my friend. And you can go and live wherever you want. Your dad will never find you. Yes, but it's my, it's my uncle and the, the, the whole family. Who like, okay. cares? Yes, I will protect you. I will protect you. My family is the biggest family you can imagine. Just leave Islam and let me know how to help you and I will help you. Tell me which country you live in and I will find you, my, find you the way. And let us see the son of Mud. I will cut it close to you. You, don't have like, fear, you don't, don't you have don't fear, understand. my friend. You I understand. understand. You see, do you know how many Muslims they threat to kill but me every day? But you don't, my friend, you don't understand. Which one is more at risk, you or me, who make fun of Muhammad every day, non stop, all my life? You know the answer. Do they scare me? No. So you are a man, you are, you know, if your sister, she is a female and she is brave enough to leave Islam, this garbage of Muhammad. Obviously, she is a smart. Did she become a Christian yet or no? No, uh, or actually, I don't know. I think so, but I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we, we are sad for your sister, man. This is really horrible. This is what disgusting behavior of Islam. Uh, so they were torturing her, right? Like they, they, they capture her and they start boiling oil on her body? Yes. Oh, is it is it like in her face? No, no, no. no. It was like, uh, I think the, the highest was like... Uh, a, a little above the, the the chest, like near the throat. What like an they animal. they just like they just throw it. They don't aim it. So this is your dad alone or somebody with him? No, my dad. But how many um, how many years he will stay in jail? I like in in Sweden the maximum you can get is eighteen years, but he will probably be out after maybe twelve or. 14 years. Well, I hope he would die before he get out. This man is an animal. Sorry to say. There's no man would do that to his daughter unless he's an animal. 
you see, so you see what how evil Islam is. If Islam is a good religion, there is no person would do that to his daughter. Let us say uh, she been misled, deceived, whatever you want to say. You sit with her, you hug your daughter, you talk to her, you try to convince her, but you don't do that. This is very filthy. This is disgusting. This is extremely evil. And this is why, my friend, this is additional reason for you to leave this garbage. You see what, look, what the Messiah just said? Just because my daddy did wrong doesn't mean... Everyone All of them, they do wrong. wrong. All of them did wrong. Muhammad, you know what Muhammad did? Muhammad, he did more ugly stuff to those who left Islam. He put nails in their eyes. He cut their feet and their hands, and he put nails. He, he, he did heat the nails in fire until they become, the nails became red. And then he put the nails on the eyes of those people who left Islam. And your father is not less evil than Muhammad. This is alone is enough for anyone to leave this garbage. But, but, but look, just because, like, for example, America, they they do bombing in Syria. My friend, my friend, it, it America. Mean, it doesn't mean uh, every my, America. No, does no, you see, this is not about America. What America? America led by, by a filthy uh, president. And those people, they do business, company and business and money. American, they don't want to kill anyone. American, they don't believe in uh, Jesus Akbar. They want to kill anyone. Uh, anyone. This is the evil one. This this is Biden. You know, he, he promotes homosexuality, etc. What does it have to do with the Christianity? Promote, uh, yeah. So, right. so, so everything they promote have Wait, nothing, you, you said, is against, you is, against or, or is against the Bible. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad and Biden is the same. Everything they promote is against the Bible. Even they, they burn churches in America. Those liberals, the party of Joe Biden, they burn churches. Go search in the news. So my friend, bad is bad. And we are talking about religion. Jesus did not say to me that you go and you do this and that. If I am doing something bad, then I am bad. But Muhammad, he said to them, the one who leave Islam, kill him. The one who leave Islam, torture him. Cut their hands, cut their feet. Torture, he enjoy torture. And this is your daughter. This is your daughter. This is not somebody. This is your daughter. This is your blood. How in the world somebody will throw oil at the chest of his daughter? Was she naked in front of him? He took his clothes off? I cannot believe how what, what kind of an animal this man is. But look, I think most of this is because he had like mental issues. What mental like issue? He, he's, no, but like he's, he's on paper, he has mental issues. Like I don't think this is only because... My friend, this is an excuse to get him out of jail after you commit a crime as a Muslim. No, 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 no. Even, even uh, I have four years before this happened, they like, it, uh, like we had problem with Child Protective Service. They wanted to take me out of the home because, because my father was doing uh, evil. Like what? Like he, he beat me and my sister every day. Yeah, like because this is his religion. The religion teach you to beat the children. The religion teach you, like, if you don't wear hijab as a girl, you know, they will beat you. If you don't do it, if you don't pray, he will beat you. This is all because of the religion. So according to those Swedish people, have mental issue. But the reality is the true mental issue is Islam. The true mental issue is he being a Muslim. So if I am you, I will now denounce Muhammad and I will say, I will not believe in Islam no more. And I want to... Yeah, but, but how do I know I am saved? I will... Okay. Uh, you well, know, I, I, next I, time I, we go live, next time we go I'm, live... I'm hearing from my soul. Don't worry. Next time we go live, you call me and I will spend good time with you. I promise you. Just speaking how you are going to be saved. What do you think? What I am going... Huh? Wait, no, when, next time, what news? Next time you are live. Yes, well, we, you we are in Europe, so I will try to make it the same. So I don't know, like usually, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. And right now it's 2 a.m. Subscribe, subscribe to my uh, YouTube. When you see me coming online, you can call me. I go, my Skype will be open only when I am live online. So don't try to call me unless you see me live, because if I'm not live, my Skype will be closed. I don't use a Skype, only just for people to call me. And I will okay, be happy. I, I leave Islam. Okay. I'm happy for you, my friend. We are happy for our friend Muhammad here. He decided to leave Islam and we pray at the same time for his sister 
that she will be saved and she will be forgive her father, her evil father for what he did. And uh, we pray that Muhammad soon he will accept Jesus as his savior. Uh, but, uh, Muhammad, before I go for today, what do you think about the Messiah as long as you decide to leave Islam? I've, honestly, I've had feeling for 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 this, but I think it was just I just thought it was just uh, uh, what's it called? Like uh, I I just dismiss it. So you have a feeling that the Messiah is someone to follow, but you are not. Uh, you try to push it away. No. Yeah. Before. What about now? What do you think? The. I mean, it, it, I, I don't know. I, I, I think this is the way, but I, I have to see. What do you have to see? Like, uh, I, have, I have to, you know, I cannot just, I think this is the mistake I did when I was a Muslim. Like, I do, I just do, like, like uh, oh, my imam or my mom, she just tell me something. Like, I, and I don't fact check it. So now we are out of Islam and now me and you, we agree that Jesus is perfect and he is an amazing person. And now we find that you have a feeling for Jesus, but you are not sure you, you know, you dismiss it, you push it away. So what do you think is missing in this? What, what is, uh, what is holding you now? You know, I did just sometimes like, you know, uh, I feel like there there's no way out. So it feels like uh, like like what how how I I I happen uh, how I came in this shit family, and and what will happen to my to my little sisters, my little sister and my little brother. There's there are there are only uh, four and seven years old. My friend, are, my friend, they're gonna be believe in this garbage. Yeah, but you did not choose your family, and neither me. I did not choose my family too. Nobody chooses his family. This is not your fault, and this is not, uh, you know, a, a choice for any of us. But in Christianity, you can choose your family for real because you see those people here in the chat. You see them here. There's a lot of them. They consider me as a family for real. They, but, but how they? How, I see the chat now. How, they claim to love me, but before they were really, they were, they were making fun of me. Like they how, are, no, how, no, they, are, they don't. They are not making fun of you. They are making fun of what you believe. You know. I, I was making fun of your belief. I make fun of Muhammad every day because it's funny. But I told you, I don't know you. Do I know you? Do we have a fight before? There's something personal. I never met you. You never met me. This is the first time you call me, correct? Hello? Yes. yes. Okay. So they are, you know, they laugh because what we are saying is something funny. But they are not making fun of you as a person. Nobody know you. The important is that salvation will bring us okay, a new family. And, and, and how would you know if I should become Protestant, the Jehovah? Uh, you should not. You should not be. Those. You should not be Protestant. Uh, there's Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses are not Christian. There's the Christians is only either Catholic, Protestant, or Orthodox. Jehovah Witnesses, Mormon, they are not. So it's not what important. They are not. They don't believe in Jesus God. They believe that he's an angel. Those are not Christians. Those are false people. They are false. Uh, they have nothing to do with Christianity. So, uh, what is important for you is to believe in Jesus, not in a church name. Jesus is what will save you. It's not a church name. It's not being a Catholic or a Protestant. So, we as a Christian, we believe that the Savior is the Messiah. Not a priest, not a yes, bishop. For example, I mean, like, how do I know? For example, there's some people they say they the Trinity is not real. Like they say they are oneness Christian. I will spend my time with you to show you why it's real. In fact, everything around us proving to us that Trinity is real. As an example, what uh, uh, you know, uh, water, water is an example. Is based in what number three, H two O, which means if one of them is missing, life is gone. This earth is dead. Everything around us is based on number three. But our source of life is what? We need light. If there is no light, we are dead. If there is no air, we are dead. 
If there's no earth, where we are going to be flourish, you know. So everything around us is based on number three. Even family, wife, husband, son. Three. Family is family is three. Children, wife, husband. Everything around you is based on number three. And three always present perfection. The perfect God is always perfect. And three does not mean we have three gods, we have one God. That's why Jesus says, I and the Father is one. We are not two. But how do I know I am saved? Because, you know, okay, I can say right now, I believe in Jesus. It's no. the only way. But, but like, how, because, you know, like, for example, like they say, like we, we are forgiven, like we, if we only we believe, not by our works. Like, but like. No, in Christianity, so like you, you see, you, uh, let me explain to you. In Christianity, you see, your work, your work, let us say, I build a charity and I help a lot of people and I think I am the best man in the town. But still, at the end of the day, I'm a sinner man. It doesn't matter how much good I do. So in no, Christianity, no, no, no. I, you, you misunderstood. Like I, I yeah. don't think you are saved by by works, like uh, because I heard some some. No, uh, I, I'm I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, when we say we are saved by the grace of God, because this is true, because if God don't forgive us, we will not be saved. But doesn't mean you don't do work, because the Bible says to uh, faith without work is a dead faith. So work is something come automatically from a believer. If you are a believer, then you do good work. If you are not, if you are by, by name, then your faith is fake. That means and you, you know, are. I, I'm just wondering because you know, all, all this time I have, uh, you know, I have problem with like loving uh, money more than God, law, like uh, loving the the things the for the world. Like I, I always want, think I want to believe, but like you know. It feels like I am doing this shit all like every day. Like how how can God love me? Well, you see, this is what we are saying. We don't deserve, but because God is amazing in Christianity, God is love. God Himself is love. God Himself is love. Himself is love. So this is the definition of God in Christianity. For God, He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son to save the world. So you are going to be saved. Because you decide to follow the loving God who will save you and you decide like, you know, to fight your sin. So that's why Jesus said, go and sin no more. Muslims, they lie about Christianity and Christian, they say, oh, Christian, they believe that Jesus died for them. They will be saved. That's it. No, go and sin no more, which means you follow Jesus. You fight your sin. It's impossible to do no sin no more. It's impossible because we are still under the nature of the flesh. We are not God, but it was uh, a command of the Lord. And the Lord, he knew our heart. He knew we are fighting our sin. We are struggling with it. So you are not saved because you deserve for your good, but you will be saved for God, he love, his children's, and you are believing in him and you are trying your best. He know your heart. He know what you do. He know what you what you think. We do not need witnesses, for he knew everything about you. He is the witness for what you do and what you hide cannot be hidden from him. So you will be saved because you believe and your faith will save you. However, when you have faith in Jesus, your good work will come with it. Otherwise, you are a false Christian. So, you, if you have faith in Jesus, so, you cannot be. So, how be... do I know for sure, for sure that because I want to follow God, but I like I. Don't... Uh, you can know for sure because Jesus is the only one who did what nobody did, and we just confirm me and you that He is a perfect. He have no sin, and His command is perfect, and His miracle is perfect, and He's amazing. But I mean, like, for, like, I don't know. Can I even say now I am Christian? You can say, I believe in Jesus, I accept Jesus. However, you need to start fixing your life so you don't use bad words from now on. For example, you if, don't, I, if I do one thing my whole life, I think it's normal. But in, like, how, how am I supposed to just stop right now? You can stop. 
Otherwise, you can stop from doing bad stuff. Like, you know, uh, uh, somebody will say to you, I smoke all my life. How I'm going to stop now? You can actually. The man, he have a power uh, and the will. He can do it. But the human being, when he give up, he is so weak. Then uh, he, it's hard for him to stop. But you can stop. You can stop anything. Even if it's drugs, even anything. You can, you know, God will help you too. You're not alone. If you believe in him, before you, maybe you try to stop because you're alone. But when you are with the Lord, you are not alone no more. No more. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? You are alone and lonely person only when you are decided to be alone. You don't have the support of the Almighty God. So you, you know, you, 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 you know, you denounce the devil already, and you, if you accept Jesus, from now on your trip is not, uh, you know, you are not alone. God will help you. God will give you wisdom. God will provide you and God will open doors for you. You know, I've been through a lot of stories in my life. Uh, you know, like in certain time, I, you know, I told people this. Uh, I don't even, I don't have a heater in my house. I can't even pay for repairing my gas pipe. I was shivering. I was so cold. My fingers turned blue and I was speaking to Muslims bringing them to Jesus. I never complained. I never said, God, why this happened to me? I said, God, how come the Muslim, they have all the oil, I have nothing in my house, just even to heat my house. I never complained, because I know God is all about just, and I know He is with me, even when it is so it looks so bad. And actually, we recognize God when things is bad, not when things is good. You know, human being, when he is living good life, he think he is God himself. He think he is superior. He think he is in control. But he notice how weak he is, how nothing he is, as soon as things go bad. Then we notice that we are alone. But if you are with God, which is the Messiah, the Lord will open doors, will provide you. Just have a trust. Trust is what you need. You know, we have a story in the Bible about one of the disciples when Jesus, he commanded him to walk to him, toward him in the on the water. Imagine walking on the water. But the disciple, the, the disciple, he was like, how am I going to do that? How am I going to walk in the water? So he, because he have a suspicion about, uh, uh, you know, walking in the water, he start getting drowning. And that is the case for any of us. With the Messiah, you can walk in water the same as the Messiah. If not literally, it can be spiritually. Just put your trust on Him, and you will be the same as the disciple. But if you have more faith, you can do even better than the disciple themselves. So Peter, we know, when he get down out of the boat and walk, uh, uh, on the water he come toward Jesus he was getting closer he had faith in Jesus he saw his miracles he saw Jesus doing it he saw miracles of Jesus over and over but he felt like this is not I cannot do that I'm, I'm not I mean he is the Messiah who am I to do that the Messiah said to him they you know takes this he said to all the disciples have courage. Don't be afraid. But, um, okay. So if you believe in the Messiah, the Messiah will be with you. You will not be alone. And I advise you to start reading the Bible. And you will see how amazing the stories and everything the Bible says about Jesus. But I have to ask because you know one of my, you know, actually how I got to know your channel was one of my friends. He showed this to me, but he goes to a church where where uh, there there is woman pastor. Isn't it like the woman cannot be pastor? Uh, you know, I mean the Christian, the some Christian they argue about this. They say they cannot. I say. This is not really what make a church a good church or not. It's the teaching. 
if a woman she is a qualified she is a smart she is decent uh, she can teach she can teach uh, but if you ask me me as a Christian I prefer that women should be teaching women you know uh, because that will save her from a lot wait, of uh, wait, wait, just to be just I have to be clear on this one like it's not only a woman and the, that is pastors like uh, there is like two pastor two main pastor uh, they are married but then there are also like yeah, I don't know if you can call yeah them you know I, I, I understand I understand this is another issue you see I don't care really who is speaking in the stage I don't care what they call themselves I care for the teaching they say the word they say if it's against the gospel they are nobody for me they are not even Christian they are satanic so I don't care for what they call themselves all those things they don't mean anything what pastor what is you know this is really funny even you know even the word mean nothing how should really. I, but I'm asking for like how should I know you do not need them you do not need, them. You do not need the, the no no them, they you do not they have a, a, listen, they, they marry the same sex it's this is not those are not Christian you never go the way this this is not the Christianity those aren't Christian. Those are, those are following Satan. Christianity is what the Bible teach. Anyone he do act or teach something out of the scriptures, he is doing Satan work. Very simple. So if you so see, the, is this church then bad? Because for, I I heard somewhere in the Bible it says like the woman they have to have a job. No, this Not is a job, but but like they have to cover their hair. You no, know, the Bible says, and if you read the verse after it, it says that and the cover of the woman is her hair. So don't listen to the Muslims, and you know who care about the hijab too. You see, hijab was uh, was a was a clothing for a reason. If I was living in the Middle East, but, but and I don't like, have a yeah. listen, listen. In the Middle East, men they cover their head. Is that correct? Is that yes. correct? Is that because yes. they are females or because it is the sun and dirt? So this has nothing to do with anything. Hijab. Is not even mentioned in the Quran as cover for the head. Hijab means a curtain between you and the person. Is not even a, a head cover. Muslims in generally they yes, are. I, I I think I heard uh, in uh, in Corinthians uh, like uh, the Dean Paul he said like uh, if there is no shame for woman then she she should have the the thing to cover. But if it's but if she don't want to have that and she, then she should shave it off. Yeah, uh, you know, I want to ask you, like, did did uh, like, did you try to read the Bible before? Just a little bit. When I okay, so what, 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 why you stop? I mean, as long look like you like to read uh, some verses about. Is that because somebody was saying to you, women should wear hijab, and then some Christian they answer and they show you this verse, or the Muslim yeah. they show it to you? Yes, yes. Muslim. Yeah, but if you read it, you will see that the cover of the women is her hair. The glory of the women is her hair. God, He gave her the best cover. But the but didn't it says like in the verse like if but if she is ashamed like if there is no shame then she should just cut it off if she don't, if she does yeah my friend uh, because women who have a shame usually they have they either they punish themselves or they will be punished by shaving their head so shaving the head for a woman is a is a disgrace all right so when a woman she cut her hair she is she you know she is suffering from disgrace. And that what is the Bible talking about? And women, they are not decent because they wear hijab. That is even very silly. Because a woman, she can wear hijab and she can be a whore. She can wear a veil. Actually, in the Old Testament, uh, we see the story of Israel, uh, the Palestinian women, the pagan Palestinian. They used to, women, they used to offer themselves to the temple uh, of the pagan. And what women, they do, they, uh, they dress a veil Burka, and the women she sleep with any man who enter from the door if you want. She offering herself. This is a service for gods, in the in, for those pagan. But she wear the burka so nobody will know her face. And wearing the burka actually is the best way to cheat, because you can see your wife walking in the street with somebody, and you will not even know that this is your own wife in the front of your eyes. You can see your wife with somebody in the car. But you will not know that she is your wife. I know, as you know, I, 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 when I was in the high school, one of the, uh, you know, we are like teenage high school. One of the Muslim kids, he was like, you know, we go out and etc. He's, he's not a bad guy, but you know, he grew in the Middle East and he learned what the Middle Eastern do. So he saw a girl, 
wearing, uh, you know, Islamic dress. He follow her. He start flirting with her, speaking dirty words. You have a nice bum, well, you know, very dirty words. And this girl, she keep walking and she did not talk. And then she keep going in the direction, which is the same direction for his house. You know, we leave school, girls leave school, boys leave school. We go home. So he's going home too and look like she is in his way. She keep going, keep going until she will stop in the front of his dad house, his house. So he thought to himself, man, this woman, she know me and now she will tell my parents. But guess what? It turned to be his sister. He did not even recognize that this is his sister because she was wearing burqa. She so was saying all kind of filthy words about her body. And she did not say any word. She want to get him busted. Until she arrived in the front of the door of his father. At that moment, still he did not think he, she is his sister. He thinks she is going to complain. But then she opened her back and she grabbed the key and she opened the door. And then he felt how stupid he is. But, but I have to also ask something else because, you know, even when I was a Muslim, like I... I always wonder, like, you know, like, because I have I have always had problem with, you know, loving uh, money and uh, all of these things. Like, I don't need to tell my whole life story, but basically I did some bad stuff for money because it was like my environment. Like we my friend, my friend, listen. Stupid shit, but like, you can, how, how, how you can I, confess. How am, I to, to, how am I supposed to, you know, stop loving money more than God? You can. All of us, we can be tempted by everything. Who said to you, I don't get tempted? You can be tempted by women, sex, money, power, anything. You know, we, 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 we you know, temptation is, is, a, is a daily thing that will happen in your life. But if you are a true believer, you say no, you stop before temptation comes to your heart. You close the door. I will not do that. I will not go down. I will not, you know, go forward. You always have to fight it. Otherwise, we will start complaining. I will complain to you. You will complain to me. All of us will get tempted. Who said? Who said he is not a person who will get tempted? All of us will do. Don't we see beautiful women? Don't we see uh, some people driving nice cars? I wish to drive a car like that. Don't we see people have nice big, big villas? I like to have a yacht. I like to have etc. Yeah, I mean, we we uh, we wish to have things, uh, and it's normal to to you know. But for you. The more you get closer to God, those things will not be important. The more you are far, the more you are worshipping idols. And those idols can be cars, uh, uh, villas, uh, luxury. You, they have different names. Everybody have different names, uh, sex, uh, etc. So the more you are far from God, the more those things, they will be in control. The more you are close to God, this is why you see Christian monks, True Christians, they live in the desert, no food, no nothing. They have, you know, they are the disciple of Jesus. We have many stories, you know. Uh, they go, they have nothing, they do nothing. I mean, they, like now, I got support from people. They, they make donation, right? I'm lucky. Uh, let us go and see the story of Peter and Paul and John. See how much they struggle in life. In fact, they killed them all. They crucified them. They fed them to the to the beast. So I am here sitting behind my computer and I'm saying I am saving the life of Muslims by the help of my Lord. But I'm lucky. Nobody is feeding me for dogs and nobody is, is you know. So this is what the Christian, the true Christian did. For they are, they are so close to the Lord. They are willing to give their life and they ask for nothing. Neither Peter, neither Paul, neither John, neither I of the disciples have a villa. They don't even even Jesus, he never have a donkey. Even Jesus himself, he never owned a donkey. I mean, imagine you are a person who can raise people from death. Do you know how much money you can do by that? How many people they will give everything they have to come back to life? Uh, they, it doesn't it say in the Bible like uh, what? Uh, what shall I profit a man if she gains the whole world but loses his soul at the end? I, I'm surprised that you know many verses in the Bible. W w how how come you uh, like you know them? Because yeah, like, you know before I 
you know, I haven't been Muslim all of my life. Like my my whole family, they they start following this shit like maybe seven years ago. But you know, I'm originally Christian, and also so you origi- know, I, originally you are Swedish. I'm I'm from Congo. Congo, okay. And like uh, there in Congo, it's like uh, uh, half is Swedish. Uh, no, half is uh, it's Christian. Half is is. Muslim, kind of. Mm. What, like what, I, what about your mother now? She she is born Christian also, but uh, I don't know. She she been lied to. I think. So she think, she, honestly, mar- she married a Muslim. Was, Did she marry a Muslim? Like your father is a Muslim? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. My my father was uh, he was Christian also before. But I think honestly, the more I think about this, I think all of this started since my father became Muslim. So since your father became Muslim, things in life like, became, yeah. became awful, uh, awful and ugly. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, like, and I'm not saying it's his fault, but like, uh, you know, like just after that happened, a lot of things started happening. But like, uh, but I, yeah. So basically, I was a Christian, uh, like when I was a little kid. But then I, I stopped believing when I was 11 or something. I just think, wow. Like how this, how there can be a god? Like we are apes and all of that. But I like still, but I still read a little bit of the Bible, even if I don't understand everything. I still read this. It was actually, you know, the verse I said it was was one of the first verses uh, I I ever learned. What? Why? Why you like it? Because it, because uh, like. Uh, for me, it, it 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 was basically like God. He said to me, like, you should not focus on the riches because, like, even if you have one billion, it doesn't mean that that you will you will you are not guaranteed from hell. Mm. You know, I I never thought you are from the Congo because the picture you have in Skype obviously it's a false picture, right? No, it's a it's a Swedish meme. A Swedish who? Meme. Meme. Uh, it's like a, uh, an actor. Well, it, uh, no, no, no. It was like a, uh, it's not me. It was like a, uh, how do I say it? Uh, can you just look at the chat? It will explain what what the meme is. Okay, no problem. It's not important. Anyway, my friend. So, do you want to accept the Messiah as your savior? Yeah, and you want to start did. your life? I already did. You already did. I'm happy for you, and I will be happy if you need anything in the future. If you want to bring your mom to talk to me. I will be happy to talk to her. Maybe next time, if you want, you can ask your mom to, uh, you can call and give her the microphone. And I promise you, I will speak to her in a very nice way. I just, uh, but I just, but like what will happen to my father? Because like, you know, even like everything that happened, you know, at the end of the day, he's, he's still my father, right? Doesn't matter, my friend. Your father, he decided to be evil. And he have to pay for his crimes. And then let us pray that in jail he will repent, and he will come back and he ask forgiveness to the Lord. Uh, what he did is very evil, you know. But still, he can repent and he can fix what he did at least in the front of the Lord, you know. He have to repent. He have he have to ask his daughter for forgiveness. Uh, and uh, he, you know he should leave the garbage of Muhammad. What he did is a very evil crime. With this, you know. I started reading the Bible, actually, you know, when I told you, you know, I had these feelings, you know, like, yeah. uh, Jesus, he talked to me, but I would just dismiss it. It was like, you know, I, did, I did not read like the, like so much. I just like, you know, like I, I just uh, go on the internet, like random verses, show me. Yeah. And a little bit reading and all that, but like, anyways, my point is like, like, I don't know. I just want to 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 do what God says to me, but like I uh, like it feels like whatever I do, I get tricked. You like will for... you you will struggle, and this is normal. But don't let that you know discourage you. As I said, if you really uh, become a true believer, then those things will not affect you. But if you are so so, you are not sure. One leg here, one foot there. Then uh, Satan, he will find his way, you know. Just you have to be firm. Otherwise, all of us, we can be taken down. 
and there is many way of temptation I don't want to repeat that to you you have to be you have to be a person who make decision it's like somebody you know the doctor he says to you you have diabetes don't eat sugar and you say oh I love sugar so what do you do you eat sugar you die you don't eat sugar you miss it so which one you want to do you have to be smart so you have to be the person who control his will your own will so you can do what is right otherwise you will die and the Bible says that the wage of sin is death the way the wage of sin is what is death so you choose you want to live or you want to die and the death here we are not talking about dying all of us we will die actually for me I believe the day the day I will die is going to be a good day for me I mean what is that you know there's a story of a monk uh, he was dying they brought uh, uh, they brought a doctor to see him he went inside he checked him out he came back he says uh, look your, your brother he lost his mind they said why he said well I told you you have a few hours to live mostly he gave me a big smile he's happy they said why you don't go and ask him why he's happy you know maybe you have a reason so he went inside he said if you can talk tell me I told you I just told you you will die and you smile so the monk he says my son I'm waiting for this day all my life serving the Lord so I will meet him one day and the day is coming and you are telling me why you are happy so death is not what we fear what we fear our enemy is our fault our sin our greed uh, our, our evil it's not God God is not our enemy God he loves us so when we die we will be but I, I I just like basically but to not to not waste everyone's time I just want to ask because you know I I just want to follow the Lord Jesus but like you know like a whole my whole life I had for example I had problems uh, lying to my parents because they were uh, they were abusive to me like you feel like friend, uh, you are I still had... young you are still young you are talking about yourself if you are like you are 80 now you are just uh, still 19 years old correct yeah Okay, so I mean, uh, you have all life in front of you to do uh, a new start. I mean, you have all the start in front of you. So don't worry about what happened in the past. Just ask the Lord for forgiveness. Uh, you were a kid, and you know, kids, they do what kids do. Uh, I mean, men, grown men, they do a lot of crazy stuff. And then still the Lord forgive them if they, if they ask for forgiveness from their heart. So don't worry about what you did yesterday. Let us think about what we will do tomorrow. And let us... I'm just thinking because you know I want to follow I want to follow God, but you know if it's like, like how, how I can say I love God, but then I do the the opposite thing. Then you should not do it. That's it. That's what I'm saying. The, the yesterday is yesterday. What we did yesterday, it was before we believe. Now we believe, then we don't do it. Yesterday you were a Muslim. Today you are not. So what you were thinking yesterday is gone. It's not an option no more. We will have a new start. And, you know, I don't know if you got baptized before, but I advise you to read the Bible. And when it's time, you go and get baptism. So the Holy I, Spirit... I got baptized as a kid, but like, do I need to do it again? Well, it's better even to get baptism now. I mean, after you, uh, uh, you know, re read the Bible carefully. And uh, when you are ready, go and get baptism. Uh, Should I get baptized? I already got that as a kid. No, because simply when you were a kid, you did not know what you are doing. You know, this is not really a baptism. It was just a kid, don't know what is going on. Uh, but now you are a grown man and you are reborn again with Jesus. And I believe it's a good thing to go and do baptism so you can have a fresh start, a new life. Uh, same time you will have witnesses and family, new family in the church who welcome you and be happy to see you becoming Christian again and uh, you know following the Lord. And don't worry about the sin you did in the past. Just fight it. Never do it again. And ask the Lord for forgiveness. And, uh, you know. Like, but they basically what I'm asking for is, you know, like, I want to stop doing these things. But, like, you know, I, I think I read somewhere, like, the, uh, like, what, what it said. Something, the, the human is weak, but the, but the spirit is willing. Something yeah, like this. yeah, but, but you see, we say human is weak usually, 
uh, which is true. But the human is strong too. When Jesus come as a human to earth, uh, still Satan, he tried to tempt him as a human. Even though when he was talking to him, he says, if you are a son of God, so he knew who is he. But still he tried to tempt him because now he's in the flesh and the flesh is a flesh. So Satan, he said to himself, well, Jesus now, I mean, he is in the flesh. This is the weakest uh, time, the perfect time to attack. Still in the flesh, Jesus was Jesus. And you can do the same. You can be in the flesh and you can fight all kinds of temptation and you can win. It's up to you. All right. Uh, I guess I have to read more about the Bible. You need to read the Bible always. The Bible will provide you wisdom. But the most important thing you have to put in your mind, I will never, as Jesus said, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. So each time sin come to you, says sin, go and sin no more. One, uh, just remember it. Go and sin no more. That will encourage you always. When sin gets close to you, you will stop it. Remember it. Because our problem is sin is easy. Sin is uh, like look beautiful actually. I mean, money. Uh, man being tempted by a beautiful woman. Women uh, tempted by a handsome man. So sin can be beautiful, you know. Sin is beautified in your they eyes. They say like Satan come as the light, as a light. Satan, like, Satan is powerful. He can come in any form. He can come to you in a form of religion too. Uh, no, I meant like the the ver like so I read some verse. I I think it was something that like Satan he comes as something good. No? Satan actually Satan was good in the beginning. Satan was not bad. Satan he come as good as an angel. But then this angel turned to be Satan, you know, Satan himself. So God did not create Satan to be uh, uh, to be uh, bad, but Satan himself he decided to be what he wanted to be. Right? It yeah. is so so difficult because like I I be lied to this this whole time. Like it feels like he, he, like how how can my how can my my father he lied to me all this time. Well, I mean, uh, all of you, all of you, the family, the whole family was deceived. So not not only your father, it's uh, the whole family. But, you know, thank God. Here we go. You are out of it. And uh, uh, let us not to cry about what happened yesterday. Let us uh, do what uh, good for tomorrow. All right. And as you yeah. say, as you say that, you know, Satan, he can come as light, you know, uh, like Satan, he transforms his, his, uh, himself into an angel of light. But still, Satan is Satan. You know, that will not change. It doesn't matter how he come to us. This is why the Lord, he says, be aware of false teachers that will come to you in a, a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. So wolves, they will come. Wolves are always exist. They have different uniform. And we have to struggle so we can uh, be vigilant and watching around us who is our friends, who is the one trying to deceive us? Who is the one to try to take me up? Which means trying to make a better person of me. Oh, this person, I will accompany him or her. Uh, or somebody else try to take me down. This person is taking me down, trying to make me do things which is not right. So I will, uh, you know, I will forbid myself to associate with this person. So you have to watch. You choose your friends carefully. You choose even your family. You know, my family is not necessarily somebody is born by blood. My family is somebody who believe in the Messiah and he want to be my brother or sister in the Messiah. And uh, we all we can become a great family, wonderful family. My mother, not necessarily a woman, she gave birth to me, but a woman. She is, you know, she is an old woman, but she decided to consider me as her son. She loved Jesus and she loved to serve the Lord. That is my mother too. So we know we, we always choose Life is the same as a person driving in the highway, and there is many exit. And some exit they have a lot of lighting, casino. 
and the, the the exit doesn't have a lighting the one don't look good actually because there's no lighting is the is the right place all the all the places which is bad have a lot of lights casino flashlight light you know strong like a thousand of volts shiny you know, go to las vegas it is so shiny but in las vegas where people lose their mind lose their wealth and lose their health so the devil he built great mansions you know great mansions will be built for what to deceive people because people they act like an insect and they come to the fire thinking it's light so you, what do you mention to me that satan he is an, an, a, a, like he is a light well yeah uh, he's he's a you know he tried to make himself the light for you and if you accept him as a light he will be same as when you were worshiping uh, the, the god of muhammad he is satan and you thought in yourself that Allah is the light of the world. But this is Satan. This is Satan himself. All right. Uh, the, okay, I don't I don't want to take too much of your time, but thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't, I don't know how I can believe in this garbage. Well, you are out of it. Go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I have to ask you how how you do so how you did you learn to do so good like uh, voice of Zachar Nike I want to learn also I believe that God he uh, you know he gave me gifts <laughs> <laughs> everything we have my friend is a gift from God either we use it for the good God or we use it for the evil Satan so the good God I pray always that he will use me like I you know I make my program kind of a comedy people love but in the same time this is not the purpose of what we do we want people to love we want people to enjoy and we want to because our god is love and love means happiness so we are christian we should be happy we should not be complaining crying all the time uh, we are people who are happy with the lord our kingdom is the kingdom of happiness for we don't have any pleasure from the earth which is you know sex and money and etc we will have a very noble happiness in the heaven of the father so God the Father, He wants us to be happy. That's why even you see in the Bible speaking about praising the Lord using music. Muhammad forbid the music, but the music can be wonderful. It's a beautiful. And you, cannot, you cannot deny it's that like... the music can move you, you know. So music, the same music, can be to praise the Lord and to be something beautiful. Or it can be satanic, evil sounds, weird sounds, like those satanic, they call them music, but they are disgusted. So disgusting so the same machine can give you two sounds a sound bring you close to god or a sound bring you close to satan so yeah. it's not the machine the problem it's not the music the problem is what we want from it yeah and this is the same right. for anything in life you as a man you can be the man of god or you can be the man of satan and today we pray that you chose to be the man of god not the man of satan all right. Yes. All right. But, uh, but also one thing, you know, I, you know, I always uh, heard from my friend. He told me that, you know, usually he doesn't debate with Muslim because he's, uh, he's uh, a teacher or whatever you say. Like he told him, it's not, it's not like good to debate because Jesus he called uh, people to be like any. He 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 didn't he didn't call you to debate somebody. He just called to to save the world. I don't understand. understand. Who, you are talking about who? Like my, you know, uh, my friend, he didn't, he usually didn't have a lot of debates because he he told me that he's like a teacher or big brother or whatever you can you say. Okay. Uh, he's a Muslim? He that, Muslim? No, 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 no. no. He's okay. Christian. Okay. But he said, he said to him, like, you should not, like, ha like, like, had Muslim, uh, have uh, too many, many deba uh, debates because Jesus called us to, to you know to get people uh, in, to to get uh, so that people know that and uh, he's God not to, to just have debates no no this is false Jesus all his the Bible is debating the Jews <laughs> he is himself is the best debater ever <laughs> no 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 he, he no he's like he, he I didn't mean that like it's, it's haram to debate like yeah 
but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he, he, some some Christian they have their own. Uh, uh, I don't, you know, like those ideas. Uh, the, the purpose is not the debate. The purpose is to convince people for what is right for them. We are not debating for the sake of debating. You know, the Greek they used to debate for the sake of fun of it, to use their brain, just to, like a like a brain practice in a sport, brain sport. Mm -hmm. So here we don't do brain sport. Here we bring people to the truth, and the truth will set them free. And Jesus always used to debate the Jews. Even his disciple, he debate with them. So, because there is an exchange of conversation. How you say this? How you do that? Are you claiming to be that? Are you saying this? So the Messiah, as an example, when the Messiah said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? They said he is a son of David. He said to them, well, if he is a son of David, then how David call him Lord in his spirit? Which means he worship him. So you see here, there's a debate. Or when Jesus, he said, before Abraham I am. The Jews ask, how you say you are before Abraham, but you are not 50 years old? So mm -hmm. this form of conversation is nothing but a debate. Debate with a strong, confident but, logic. But like what? But I just don't understand, like, like why he said to him, like, don't debate, like, and then, like, you are debating. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just wonder, like, because he... Like the his teacher, he said, you know, you don't have the the right heart or something like this. Like you should, like I don't care, my friend, what people say. People say whatever they want. There is Christian, they don't like what I do. But at the end of the day, the Lord, He says, from their fruit you shall know them. I don't care what people say. You know, at the end of the day, how many Muslims, after watching our videos and our program, they left Islam? That would count. They claim that they are doing the right thing. But yet they did not make one Muslim leave Islam or one person accept Jesus. So who is the one doing better job? How we do it? I don't care. Do it. Bring people to Christ. Save them. I can use a boat to save you from drowning. I can use a helicopter. I can maybe dry the ocean so you will not drown. The important is not how I did it. The important I did save you. And this is what the Lord he want. You know, fishermen. You know, I will make you fishermen to do what? To save people. So how we do it, as long as we are not lying, like when we speak to Muslims, we don't lie to them. We don't fool them. We don't deceive them. We share the truth, and the truth will set them free. That was important. What those Christians, they say? Eh, you know, they can say whatever they want. Anyway, my friend, I want to say thank you for calling. And again, if you want your mother to call me, I will be happy to take her next time or any time you want. All right? I don't think she will be. She will want to, but I can try and ask her. Try, you never but, know. But uh, uh, can you talk to my friend otherwise? Like he uh, can anytime. You know, I'm live. He can call me. The same you call me. You have my Skype. Just but, give him your Skype. But yeah, but uh, but I I meant like uh, you know sometime if you have time or something like this, uh, you can speak to him private because he he doesn't really understand the English that well. He only speak. He can only speak Swedish and Arabic. Uh, uh, you are talking about this guy is a Christian, right? I don't know. My is friend, is a Muslim? Muslim? Yeah. Uh, you can translate. You can translate. Let him join you in the call. You translate for him. What I say? No problem. As, uh, I will do my best. But but is but I think there isn't the biggest problem like not the fact like because you know before I was nine obvious truth but isn't like more the problem you know they don't want to accept something that's true. My friend, I cannot save the whole world. I do my part. I go live, and whoever want to call me is welcome. Whoever don't want, it is his business. I cannot force people. I cannot drag them here. He want to call me, he can call me. You want to translate, he can, tra you can translate to him. And I will be happy to talk to anyone. All right? So I want to say thank you. I apologize. I can't stay longer. I'm staying no, here no, for I long. Understand. But I, I have to, to just ask, are you living in the use like Because, like... Yes, I live in the USA, yes. Because I, I always wonder, you know, why? Because, you know, for me, it's middle of the night. Yeah, I live in the state, but sometimes I come uh, like different time. I don't come always in one time. Just subscribe to my channel and you will find me when I go live. Or you can subscribe to Patreon. Then you will receive an email from Patreon when I'm coming live. All right? But thank you so much. You're welcome, my friend. God bless uh, you. I can't believe I believe in this shit my whole life yeah try not to use those words anymore i mean uh, sometimes i use it myself to explain something but it you know 
from now on we'll try to work. isn't it just like... no it's not really i mean it's a reality <laughs> but to try to avoid certain words like you used to say before you know maybe especially if there's no point of it all right my friend god bless and i hope to hear from yeah, your mother soon you. all right take care bye bye yeah care. inshallah <laughs> inshallah <laughs> He forgot himself. He said, "Inshallah, again." <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. I mean, he, you know, he spent many years as a Muslim. So then, at the end, he said, "Inshallah." <laughs> that was a good one, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like you, you know, you, you, you grow like you are since being a kid. You are a Muslim, saying "Inshallah" for everything. And now he left Islam and he's leaving. He said, okay, I will do it, inshallah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You know, I know you don't mean it, but it's okay. But try not to say that. This is the start. Don't say inshallah no more. Allah, you have no will. Allah is not even exist. It's, it's a joke. Yeah, this reminds me of the story of David. He decided to have sex, uh, you know, uh, with 99 women. But he forgot to say, uh, Insha'Allah, or Suleiman, uh, sorry. Uh, so 99 women, but he forgot to say, Insha'Allah. So he have, uh, uh, Allah, he punished him and he gave him half child. Why? Because he started doing boom, boom without saying, Insha'Allah. Uh, you know, this is remind me of electricity in the Middle East. You call the electric company. You say to them, we don't have electricity. They say, we'll fix it, inshallah. That means that good luck. You call the second day. We called you yesterday. Where are you guys? Are you going to fix electricity? We told you yesterday. We will fix it, inshallah. There's a guy who took a picture of himself next to a hole in the front of his house when he was like a few years old. And then he was a growing man, like 35, 36, something like that. He took picture in the front of the same house and the hole is still there. 35 years after why because inshallah we will fix it that is the muslim world this is why they are behind time the only countries in islamic worlds they have some advanced advance is the countries who they are not running by muslims like emirat who is the one who building for emirat the korean for the saudi the korean the japanese the american Leave them alone, the people of Insha'Allah, nothing will function. Nothing will function. This is a nation of Insha'Allah. They spend the day drinking coffee and drinking tea and gossip. And when a problem comes, Insha'Allah. What you can say? 